Cool beans, we are up. Hey, hey, Jelly Toast here, back with more Danganronpa. Uh, I don't remember if I finished examining every. Oh, coin. Yeah, I feel like I don't really have to pay attention to objects, descriptions, stuff is packed type of books. Yeah, just give me the coin. Give me the coin. Oops. No, yeah, 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 I didn't mean to exit. Oh, let's look at the books. Hey, yo, Kirby! Thanks so much for the sub! 59 streak! Oh, I do have alerts on, but it's super tiny. Um. But yeah. How you doing, dude? Oh, and bomb. Hope you're having a good night, too. Um. Oh, well, we don't have to examine every single shelf. The laptop. It looks like a laptop. Laptop looks pretty old, and it's all covered in dust. So... It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happens. It's broken, huh? Too bad. I was hoping I could use it to go online and see what's going on in the outside world. If it's broken, there's nothing I can really do about it. Uh, or just look for a plug? Power cord? What's behind this door? <laughs> Some kind of archive. All I saw in there were a stack of old books and files. I can't imagine what business you would have in there. That's true, I don't really have any reason to check it out. Except to see what it looks like? Okay, so I think that's like all the objects at least I think I can... Um, look at... Okay, so I guess start. let's start talking to people. No, not the books. Yeah. You must be pretty happy to have all these books around, huh, Toko? <laughs> not particularly. Nothing's really caught my attention so far. Mm -hmm. Indeed, there are a plethora of books, it's true, but the content seems lacking. No, Where's the comic books? Where's the young adult section? Hmm? Comic books? Young adult? That stuff's a waste of time. Hmm. I see what you hmm. write, Miss Fukawa. Hmm. Talented as you are, your stuff isn't any more worthwhile. My stories are filled with true love and pure feelings. Don't compare them to that garbage of yours. Your writing doesn't even mean anything. It's just a bunch of jumbled up letters. Someone should just burn it all. <laughs> Ooh, the lady doth protest too much, methinks. I bet you're secretly into boy on boy action. <laughs> boy on boy? I don't care if it's anime or comics or fanfic or whatever. Uh, it's all filth. Throw away culture that'll be trashed and forgotten in half a decade. Yeah. Uh, just talking about it makes me sick to my stomach. I feel like I'm gonna to throw up. <laughs> You've insulted me, and you've insulted my honor! These two are really starting to freak me out. I've never seen anything like it. I don't want to talk to you yet. Uh, Hifumi. How much is your voice going to die? A lot. I'm trying to change Hifumi's voice so it's not as high-pitched, so it doesn't sound like Monokuma. So far, it seems good. There are three boys in this room. I know, it freaking sucks. I'm absolutely shocked! How come? Damnation! They have all these books here, and not one copy of any of my works! Well, yeah. Why would they have comics in a library? Plus, most fanfic is just porn drawn by a bunch of amateurs. You just don't get it. Not at all. I do too get it. And with a face like yours, anyone can tell nothing you do is worthwhile. Say whatever you want about me, but never judge a book by its author. I Okay, yeah, I really can't get his voice down. Now hear this, appearances mean nothing at all. What you see before you is nothing more than the rind that contains the meaty pulp of my genius. Here we go. My creations are what determine my meaning and value. You're so <laughs> full of it. Mm hmm, I'm used to being misunderstood. You think weak attacks like yours will drop my HP? Those two really worry me. Okay, I guess I should talk with him to get his voice work for it. Hmm. What about boy on boy on boy action? Oh, that's going too far, man. But still, the library is most interesting. Huh? What's interesting about it? Stop talking. Oh, nothing. I was just thinking out loud. You stop talking! Stop thinking out loud, too! You douchebag. <sighs> it's remarkably dusty in here, and the lighting is less than ideal. Or library, it's not the kind of place I'd want to do much reading in. Okay, I think I could leave now. Leave the area, yep. I guess I just had to talk to the, um... Whatchamacallit. Oh, I can strafe! Whoa! Okay, pressing the R2 and L2 buttons do nothing. Um. Yeah, I just had to talk to the laptop, I guess. 
plus room. Reality isn't everything. Oh, wow. That looks like a polar bear. I guess nothing really is much in here. Window! Camera! Ha 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 ha! 75 presents. Oh, uh, maybe that's what I should have done off stream. I should have, um. No, I couldn't even leave the room. I gotta, um. Whatchamacallit? I gotta use the gacha machine. Brave, yeah. Okay, so then now I should check out. That's the archive room, and Biakuya said there's nothing there. So what if I check out this classroom? Hmm. The baby is sleeping. Please be quiet. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna find any more monochrome. Right, but I lied. Do I really need 76 points, though? I don't think I ha can meet people 76 times. Oh, but they said if I use more coins, I get, like, better prizes. That's worth trying. Okay, Sakura! I see. This must be what, this must be what he meant by a new world. Huh. I should probably take a really close look around. Okay, that was it. Yeah, that was it. Sakura more like buff toasty toast. I wish I could be as buff as her. Uh, let's see. Um, strafe. Uh, pool. Ooh. A machine gun. Cool. Just a second. Oh, Makoto. Hey, guess what? Guess what I found? A pool. There's a pool here. A pool. Pool, pool, pool. You don't have to keep repeating it. I got it. Okay. And there's a ton of exercise equipment in the locker room. Sakura's gonna go nuts when she finds out. Yeah, you're right about that. Hina seems way more excited than usual. Okay. The locker rooms connect to a pool. It looks super nice and big and fantastic to swim in. I'm beyond excited right now. I can't wait to dive in. In fact, I'm getting kind of mad thinking about it. Why are you getting mad? <laughs> hey, Chihiro, have you checked out the pool yet? Uh, no, I don't like wearing swimsuits. Yeah, you do seem like, like the type who might not be into that kind of thing. But, but still, it seems like the locker rooms here have all the exercise equipment you could ask for. Maybe I'll give it a try. I'd like to... I'd kind of like to get a little stronger. You want to get stronger? I have to say, that's kind of unexpected. Yeah. But I'm not even brave enough to step foot into the locker room. Huh? You don't even want to go into the locker room? Um... It's not that I don't want to, it's just... I don't get it. Is she afraid of locker rooms or something? That's a pretty weird phobia, though. Maybe she doesn't like crowds. Kickboard! Um... Life tube. What up, Regal? How you doing? Thanks for joining! Happy Friday! Um, that said, is that a gun? Okay, let's talk to... Celeste. <laughs> The second floor has opened up, the living area has grown, and a number of facilities are now available. Whatever else is going on, I must admit things have been made much more comfortable for us. Do you understand? If things continue like this, the occasional class trial may not be so bad. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Okay. Um guess I can examine the locker room now. Behind this door is the locker room? Yeah. Oh, and I guess you need your handbook to get into the locker rooms. Really? Of course! Really, really! Oh. Wah! Hmm. If you want to unlock her in the locker room, you'll have to swipe your personal e-handbook across the card reader next to the door. Uh -huh. However, to ensure maximum security within each locker room, only a boy's handbook can open the boy's locker room, and the same goes for the girls! And that's the bottom line! But... Hmm, but what if someone opens the door, and then someone else sneaks in? Anyone who commits such indecency will be punished without mercy for their scandalous sexual depravity. See? There's a Gatling gun mounted on the ceiling, right? Yeah. And it'll be all... Tuk -tuk 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 -tuk. Just a second. I bet it really hurt to get shot by that thing. Um, um, no. I think it'd be a little worse than that. Hmm. 
But what happens if someone loans their handbook to someone else? A boy could borrow a girl's handbook, and that would get them into the lo girl's locker room, would it not? Ha! Whoa, that never even occurred to me. Do you think someone's could be so low, so cowardly, so devilish? Hmm? Hmm. Okay, then how's this sound? I got Time for a new rule. As of this moment, loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. <laughs> there, so now nobody can give their handbook to anyone else, right? You like that? I'm kind of a genius, right? It's because my brain is 100% cotton. Honestly. I do not imagine anyone would have lent their handbook out in the first place. Is that okay? After all, they would likely be held responsible for anything that person might do using the handbook. So, but, um... you know, you seem awfully concerned with all this locker room security stuff. Of course! It's because all you teenagers are sex-crazed maniacs. You're at that age, you try humping a plastic bottle. Oh, uh, don't do that. So to keep anything unseemly from happening, I have to maintain a rigorous watch. <laughs> then in that case, I would ask that you keep the same close eye on our dorms. If some man and some woman decided to share a room, there would be nothing to stop them. <laughs> All I care about is protecting the holy image of the school itself. Yes. I don't care what happens in your private dorms. By force or by cunning, do whatever you want. Just the worst. I hate you so much. See ya. Okay, later. so the new regulation is now in place. See ya. Man, that stupid bear totally ruined my mood. Maybe I'll go take a dip to cheer myself up. You got it! Celeste, Chihiro, you wanna come with me? As for me... There is nothing I hate more than getting water on my face. Uh, How do you I'm wash your sorry. face, then? Sorry, I'll pass this time. Huh? Now come! When you're in a funk, there's nothing better than a good swim to pull you out of it. I'm pretty sure that only applies to you. Anyway, now I have a pretty good idea of what's on the second floor. But I didn't see anything that might lead to any kind of exit or anything. All I can do now is hope someone else found something worthwhile. Okay, I better head back to the dining hall as soon as possible. Vandalist, that sounds faithful. Holy toasty toast. Hey, Odanaja, how you doing? Thanks for joining. I realized that the orange tint might be my computer in night mode. <laughs> ah, nice. <laughs> yeah, because I was like, the color range and the color specs is exactly the same. I don't know why there would be an orange tint. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, how'd it go? Did anyone discover any interesting new anything? Yes, indeed. There's a library. Okay. And a pool. A freaking pool. And locker rooms filled with exercise equipment. Well, there was not, however, anything resembling an escape route. Yeah, she's right. I see. Well, hey, there's no reason to get all sulky. Wait till you hear about my amazing discovery. Quiet down the warehouse and the bathhouse on the first floor of the dorms are now open. You hear me? And the warehouse is chock full of food, clothes, whatever you want. There's so much, it's insane. So go ahead and stuff yourself to the gills whenever you feel like. Ha ha ha. Are you okay with this? Keep in mind, of course, that going out at nighttime is still prohibited. Please do not forget. Yo. Okay, and what about a effing way to get out of here? You find anything like that? Oh, well, mmm. What? There wasn't anything in the warehouse what? we could use to get our out of here? Nothing? Unfortunately, no. Not that I saw. Hey, come on. You effing people. What? Who gives a if we have a pool now or a warehouse or whatever the f Stop fucking around. We're still trapped in this piece of school. We need to find a way out. <laughs> now, now, there's no point in taking your anger out on us. Adaptation is the key, yes? For now, we must each find a way to enjoy our current situation. You piece of Whatever you say, you effing loon. <laughs> For now, let's just continue our investigation and let everyone know if you should discover something. So then. So, are we done for today? Y well, yeah. yeah, I guess so. Okay, in order of voices I don't want to do anymore, I hope. Um. Oh my gosh, what happened to your hair? Oh, that's not his hair. <laughs> that's um, what you call it, face behind um, um, Dojin guy. Oh man. Yeah, but the two guys. Dojin guy and biker gang guy. I need them to go. Their voices hurt me the most. <laughs> Please leave. Ah. <sighs> Wait. I was wondering why you kept commenting about that. Aren't you glad it wasn't? Yes, I'm glad. They seem to suddenly grow heavy again. Was this the mastermind's plan to give us hope just to turn around and betray that hope? And Byakuya. Oh my gosh. I, I can't hear his, his low voice. It's now 10 p.m. We all promise not to leave our rooms during nighttime. There's not much else to do. I guess I'll just go to bed. Lock your door. Oh, wait, it is locked. 
GGIF, happy early Halloween. Hey, yo, Golden, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Happy early Halloween. Halloween is next week. Dang. Crazy. Mr. Monokuma. Mr. Monokuma, do you have a second? I... I don't really like myself. I don't have any good skill or hobby I can say I'm super good at. And my grades are totally average, too. My reflexes are okay. Not great, not awful. I could get into a decent college where I'd make a few friends. Maybe and find a normal girlfriend. Which is exactly why I don't like who I am. I understand that now. My life is just one giant copy-paste. I don't have any imagination. I'm a perfectly average cardboard cutout. You see what I mean, right, Mr. Monokuma? What? How's things been? Things have been good. Um, this past week was crazy, and I was like super tired because of work. Good <sighs> morning, everyone. But it it's finally weekend. Oh, I hope things have been good for you. Three days until Monster Hunter Wild Beta. Ooh. I feel like every like half a year they're like Monster Hunter something. Get ready to greet another beautiful, beautiful day. That's right. Oh. I wanted to let you know that your e-handbooks have been updated. Ooh. New regulations have been added. So please take a look and enjoy your school life more than ever before. Sure. You must refer to yesterday. Loading your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. But right now, I need to hurry up and head to breakfast. Um... No, no, no. That is that thing. Um, Square, okay. Uh, regulation? Four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's just that. Um, report cards? Oh yeah. <gasps> it says dead! Ah yo, he was five foot nine? He looks so tiny. Um presents. Okay. I don't think I could play do anything, so let's leave. Good and bad football season is once again painful, but hockey season is going quite well. Oh my gosh. Freaking there's gonna be so many games. Wait, they said that the um laundry is open, right? And the bath. Can I go? Taco's right, we can really get in here now. But the others must be waiting for me in the dining hall. Fine! Um, I think I could teleport there. Nope, they won't let me. Wait, dormitory first floor, yeah. They won't... Oh wait, because I'm already here, haha. -ha. But this one is the main line title, which takes 3 to 4 year releases. Oh, I see. I'm 5'7", I'm not that tall. That's still, like, pretty tall. Flowery toasty toast. Thank you for the, for the flowers. Morning, Makoto! Good morning. Is everyone here already? Yo, yo, yo! Yasuhiro Hagakure. I'm gonna have to remember his name. I don't remember. Nope, still waiting on Byakuya and Taka. Byakuya's no surprise, but it's strange Taka's not here yet. <laughs> Knowing Taka, I imagine he is trying to get the King of Tardidas up and out of bed. Hmm. I'm sure they'll be here. I'm sure they'll be here soon enough. Just be patient. Let's see. I don't mind waiting for them, but there is one problem. Which is <sighs> I am thirsty. Hey, come on. How the hell is that a problem? <laughs> Ifumi, would you make me some tea? Hmm? <laughs> Milk tea, if you please. Well why me? Let's see. Your roundish figure reminds me of the owner of the coffee shop I used to frequent. That's your reason? This is what fine. was that noise? Hmm, whatever. I can feel my throat drying out. Quickly, please. Oh. Um. Oh. Okay. Apparently unable to refuse Celeste's order, he from me shulked his way into the kitchen. Shulked. And a few minutes later... <laughs> Thank you for waiting. He from me reappeared with a tray in hand, the gentle aroma growing stronger as he approached. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. <laughs> you could have made some for the rest of us, you know. There's no I emphatically decline. You're not my type at all. Kind of <laughs> hmm. It's all about the law of causality. Basic instinct. Act and react. <sighs> well then, if you don't mind. A small smile played across her lips as she held the teacup delicately in her hand. Oh. She's gonna say it sucks and throw it on him. Wait. She cocked her head to the side. And threw the cup as hard as she could at the wall. What? What the? 
Hey, what are you doing, my little white rabbit? <sighs> I hate this kind of tea. Uh, I don't understand. Yes, indeed. Imagine we are at a coffee shop, just any normal, everyday cafe. I sit down and I order some tea. Then They then ask me, would you like lemon or milk? Now, further imagine that I replied, ah, yes, I would like milk tea, please. In this case, along with my tea, they may bring me a small container of milk, yes? <sighs> but this is not for me. I am among those who prefer the milk to be part of the process from the outset. The fragrance is just so overwhelmingly sweet that way. What? Adding milk or lemon right before you drink is like dousing your fries in ketchup. Mere condiment. Whenever looking for a cafe, I first review their menu to see if it offers a proper style of milk tea. <laughs> And I cannot acknowledge that any milk tea that does not add the milk during the brewing process. If I had to describe our shared reaction to what we just heard, I'd have to go with wide-eyed bewilderment. He's crazy. Um, I went to all the trouble to make you that tea, and you wanted me to go even further? <sighs> yes, I realize it can be a bit of a hassle. Just don't listen to her! You owe her nothing! Even in cafes that offer proper milk tea, it is always more expensive than this simple tea with milk. It takes more time to prepare, surely, but... <laughs> Why even bother creating a menu if you are not going to offer the highest level of quality? Is there a point to this? Is she going to get poisoned and die? Is she going to poison someone else? Well, um, we don't actually have a menu. You little bitch! <gasps> that does not matter! Hurry up and bring me what I asked for, swine! Say what? Yay! Your little piggy will bring it right out. <laughs> <laughs> I do so love coercion. Huh? We're like a totally different person just now. Damn, shit. Really went psycho there. <laughs> she, okay, she's definitely gonna kill someone. I knew there was more to her than when I first met her. I'd hate to have her as an enemy. Seriously, man, she's one scary chick. The dining hall doors flew open and one of the late arrivals came storming in. But, hmm. bad news, everyone. There's a mystery afoot. Huh? What happens? It would seem Byakuya refuses to leave his room. I stood there pressing his doorbell over and over, but he never showed himself. Maybe he just wasn't there. I think maybe... I'd like to think so, but I'm worried something might have happened to him. What he meant by that? He didn't have to say anything else. Everyone understood exactly what that might mean. It might be a good idea if we all split up and go look for him. Listen to me! Ah, oh, I was just about to suggest the same thing. What's your problem? Stop trying to one-up everyone. Um, okay, then I'll go check his room one more time. I'm just gonna keep on hammering that button until I get a response. Well, then. Very well, then the rest of us can go check the rest of the pill team. Uh, um, yeah, before, you know, it's too late. Anyway, we just have to do our best to find Byakuya. So where might Byakuya have gone? The library! Maybe you want to go check out the second floor of school again. I don't want to talk to you, girl. I don't trust you. Um, map. Oh, but oh, Hina is there. Gym, second floor, gym entryway. Hopes Peaks, second floor. Yeah, I know he's in the library, but I want the um, yeah, I want the school store. So, I will. Go. I gotta prepare for future dates. Or I guess I could do that during free time. I'd like to try or how to give it a shot. I wish there was a way I could just be like, hey, I just want to go for like 10 rounds with one coin. Or just like speed up this animation. A book! Oh, that Sakura might like it. Flirty toasty toast. I want my girls! Oh, bloomers again. Cool. I'll do a couple of one coin pulls and then I'll do some two coin pulls. Shoot, I'm gonna have to open my window. It's starting to get hot in here. Woo! Yeah, I'm getting so many cool things. Oh, a ring. No, I'm starting to get repeats. Ah! And the repeat chance is only at 12. A gun? Whoa. Whoa! Something happened. 
Oh man, I gotta watch. I doesn't do that. Bad rice. Okay. Ooh, a bouquet. Okay, watch. Okay, I'm gonna bump it up to five coins. Maybe that's why I got 70 coins after the first trial. Ooh, a golden flame thing. Perfume. I feel like Byakuya might like that. Lucky? A uh, not golden gun. Cool. Oh, so if I use more coins, the repeat chance of an I getting an item again is lower. Okay. Point eight one percent of a repeat. A torso? I just spam one coin? Yo, that's gonna take too long. Okay, sorry. I'm gonna... You might hear loud things. Oh, that's a lot better. Ooh. Spamming one coin is best unless assuming the repeat isn't lying. Oh. Let me try spamming one coin again then. I got a skull! Okay, you know what? I'll do this five more times and then I'll like move on. I got a repeat! I bet there's a trophy for like get all the different items you possibly can in here. That looks like it's for um. Crazy hair guy. Still don't remember his name. Lucky! There is? Okay, yeah, I'm not getting that trophy. I can't sit here and do this. Food! Everyone will appreciate food. A bath. Fuck it. Okay, last one. Repeat book. Okay, cool. Bye. Bye. Yasuhiro. 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 I think the reason why I don't remember his name is because I don't see him a lot. Okay. Second floor. Uh... Might as well try talking to the peeps up here, so I'll go there. I'll do this five more times and I'll move on. Says the people losing at the slot machines in Atlantic City. No, yeah. Gambling's dangerous. Hey. So you thought to come here too, huh? So... Think about what Byakuya was so interested in yesterday. You can probably guess where he is right now, right? Huh? Where was it? Oh, yeah. I know where to go. I just thought you had other things to say. He's in the library. When I opened the door to the library and looked inside, I cried out in sudden surprise. Yakuya? <laughs> okay. <laughs> of all the things I imagined, this is most definitely wasn't one of them. At least he's alive. Hey, uh, what are you doing? I'm fishing. What does it look like I'm doing? I'm trying to read, so if you could be quiet. How do you just hold the book with two fingers? Oh, sorry. Wait, no! What are you doing here? Everyone's super worried. We've all been looking for you. Who asked you to do that? To make sure you weren't dead, you callous jerk. Because we're all supposed to meet up in the morning and eat together. We made a promise. A promise? <sighs> Can't I get a second's peace and quiet around here? You can in your room at nighttime. Yakuya snapped his book shut and slowly stood up, smooth and silent as a shadow. Meanwhile, the others must have heard me yell and started showing up one after another. Yo! Yakuya, so this is where you've been hiding. <sighs> the heck are you doing here, man? Mm? We were very concerned. Hm. Well, you had no reason to be. I was just reading. 
I've never read such a coarse novel before, but it might just prove useful at some point. Well, what were you reading? A mystery novel. Well... Wait, so are you gonna use what you're learning in there to betray us? Don't be stupid. Yeah. It's just something to keep in mind. Yeah, what? Naturally. If I decide to fight, of course I'll come up with something original. Otherwise, this game of ours would be totally boring, right? <laughs> it's not often you get to take part in such a high-stakes, high-tension activity. So if you're going to do it, you have to make sure it's entertaining. His word sends a chill down my spine. Wait. Speaking of slot machines, true story, my cousin lost 200 at a slot machine in AC. Next person who went to that same machine won 3,000. That's always how it is. One person loses all their money, and then the next person goes, and it's easy win. What a nice guy. You can your room at night time. What, what are you implying? He could get some peace and quiet at nighttime by himself. We're not bothering him. There was an undeniable smile on his face as he spoke. He looked like he was actually enjoying himself. Enjoying this deranged killing game. Damn you! What the F do you mean game? That's effed up! <laughs> but it is a game. It's a game of life or death, which can have only one winner. That's all there is to it. <sighs> he is right. It's a zero sum game. Huh? Are you okay with this? It is a part of game theory, a, mathemat a mathematical model. In game theory, what we are going through now is called a zero sum game. In this type of game, in order for one person to gain something, another must necessarily lose something. Alarm. In other words, it is a situation in which participants must compete for position or resources. I see. You mean like a kind of elimination match? Actually, entrance exams, sports tournaments, job opening, most social interactions fall into this category. Everyone must scramble to obtain something which is limited. For you to succeed, someone else must fail. She's talking a lot, so she's either gonna she's gonna die soon. This also applies to the school life we have been subjected to here. In this case, is that okay? our limited resource is that only one of us can successfully become the Blackened. So, in other so words, this game was designed from the beginning to force one of us to try and defeat all the others. That, that can't be what they had in mind. <laughs> this is why adaptation is so crucial. If those who want to escape were to disappear, there would be no reason to continue playing the game. What? But why would I want to stop playing? It's so much fun. He smiled again as he spoke. The smile was filled with evil intent. It twisted his face into something not human. <sighs> it sounds as if you do not acknowledge even the possibility that you may lose, am I right? Naturally. Of course. <laughs> you do not speak like the others. Exactly what I would expect from the Togami heir apparents. <sighs> it's just normal arrogance, isn't it? Just a second! You talk like that, but what if you end up dead? Not possible. I won't. It simply isn't possible. Oh you gosh, she bitch. has like he has that Chunibyo disease he thinks he's the strongest and toughest oh gosh please just leave who the f do you think you are you know i still just can't believe it what believe what <laughs> that an uneducated brain dead useless piece of garbage like you has survived this long piece of shit i'm gonna kill you <laughs> don't make me repeat myself. like i said i won't die <sighs> keep saying that but <sighs> do not bother arguing with him for him the concept of losing simply does not exist he is the ultimate affluent progeny, after all, a boy raised to succeed from the day he was born. He considers victory his destiny and has lived his life accordingly. Tests and challenges are merely ways for him to stand victorious, even if it is a life and death situation. <laughs> is that not so, Byakuya? <laughs> At least one of you seems to understand. Isn't it wonderful? It is because I am the same as you. Games are meant to be won. That's enough. Are you trying to suggest we're on the same level? Close that vulgar mouth of yours. Oh. Well, well, I do apologize. Hmm. Anyway, let me just say this to all of you. You all need to try harder. If an opponent isn't going to give it their best, where's the fun for me? N no. <gasps> Get out! That's a terrible way to look at it. What? Hmm? It's because... This isn't a game. Our lives are on the line, you know? To kill your own friends is... is... It's horrific! <laughs> friends? Who decided that? Huh? <laughs> We're not friends. No, quite the opposite. We're in competition. We're enemies. But, but, you know... What? But what? Stop trying to force your contradictions on me and just accept what I'm telling you. Um... Come on. Oh man, Chihiro's voicing all of their lines for me. <laughs> I love it. Yes, if you have something to say, say it. Otherwise, keep your mouth closed. Uh, I'm sorry. Stop fucking Yakuya, around. why can't you voice your own lines? 
Hey, you get off on bullying people that can't fight back? Wanna try that on me? Hm. So, you're back to pretending to be friends, huh? And how long do you think that's going to last? Piece of shit! F you! What? Is that all you can say? <laughs> it's unfortunate you would waste your breath on such empty gibberish. You you're the one bitch. saying all these stupid, flowery, wasteful words, you... <sighs> you're effing dead! Just a second! Hold on, just calm down! Piece of shit! I am calm! That is not calm. <sighs> How is this calm? Hmm. Anyway, I don't have any intention of working with the rest of you any longer. To cooperate during an elimination game is... Well, frankly, it's a waste of time, and I hate wasting my time. Oh, wait, because he, him and, um... Yeah, uh, Gambler Girl? Are talking so much? They're the next victims. Thank goodness. I want to be done with his voice. Waste of time? Not Engaging in friendly group meals is out of the question. Someone could easily poison our food. What? <laughs> And I'd rather not become part of the Last Supper just yet. Ugh, Quit talking like you're an avid movie or something. Goodbye. All I'm saying is that, on Ultimate, you are all free to do whatever you want on your own. Goodbye. Without a second glance back, Yaku left. There wasn't anything we could do to keep him from going. His way of thinking was just beyond anything the rest of us could even comprehend. Yeah, because he's stupid. But... Was he serious about all that? <laughs> he was, without a doubt. Don't fuck with me. Well, love him then. Maybe. What he said, he might not necessarily be wrong. I mean, can you say for sure someone won't poison our food? If someone's in charge of the food and someone dies, they're all gonna blame the person who poisoned the food. I... Uh, that's why I don't gamble. Three things I learned to never do. Drink alcohol, gamble, and fix leaking pipes around the house by myself. The only time I really like gamble is claw machine games at round one. Because back in the day, they used to be really easy to win. And now it's hard. I feel like they rigged it. Hey, come on. You too, Toko? Anyway... Well, it's not like anyone would care even if I was gone, right? <clears throat> Actually, I bet you all want me to be gone. You all think I'm disgusting. None of us think that. <gasps> you just you. think you don't think that. <sighs> I know some people like to play victim, but this is just totally out there. You think I don't know, but I do. You want me gone! And I'm sure the rest of you want the same thing, don't you? Hey, Toko, wait! <laughs> Just let her go. When she gets going like that, there's nothing you can say to bring her back. We've barely known each other for like, what, three, four days and we're already like super buddy-buddy with each other? What the heck? It's like, oh, I know exactly what you're like. I only know you known you for four days. Ultimately, our breakfast meeting came to an end without answering any questions. Everyone headed back to their rooms. They, these are your best friends. I barely know them! Geez, I'm tired already, but I don't have time to take even one day off. I need to get myself going. Free time! You know who's gonna be my best friend? Aoi! Donde esta Aoi? Donde esta... No, I don't want to talk to her. Uh, no, heck no. Donde esta Aoi? Is she in the pool? Yeah! Pool! Pool, 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 pool. Uh, Sakura! Hello, this hang out with bad. me. I don't like this atmosphere. Did I talk to Sakura for a while? Spend some time with Sakura. Are you saying you're ready for another lesson? Very well, prepare yourself and come with me. Sakura put me through a tough but rewarding training session. I can feel myself getting stronger. Sakura and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Sakura a present? Yes! What would you like to give her? Uh Oh, it's sea salt. I thought it was like a band for- Yeah, never mind. Potato chips. I don't think she'd appreciate that overflowing lunchbox. She might like that. She can eat. Well, you're giving this to me? <laughs> I see, that's very nice of you. Does that mean she liked it? Hey. I suppose I don't mind talking with you a little more. Really? Then can I ask you something? Mm. What is it? It's about what we were talking about before. You said there's someone out there stronger than you? Can I ask, is it a guy or a girl? Huh. It is a man. The man that Sakura has to surpass. Maybe she's talking about her own teacher? Which would mean your grandpa! We talk about your grandpa? Huh. <gasps> it was her dad! Oh no, I messed up! I thought you said grandpa was your teacher, I guess I was mistaken. No! The man is Sakura has a past. 
Your dad! You're talking about your dad. The family dojo has been passed down from generation to generation for the past three centuries. Three centuries? That's one heck of a history. Mm. I was born into my family as an only daughter. Male or female doesn't matter. It's my duty to protect our legacy. And because I am a woman, I must be even stronger than if I were a man. Huh. Some would say that a woman is incapable of becoming the strongest human alive. I want to prove them wrong. Which is why I subjected myself to such feverish training under my father's instruction. Surpassing my father was certainly important to me. Well, but that was just a matter of time. What do you mean? Hmm. I was 14 years old when I first beat my father in a sparring match. After that, I never lost to my father again. Wait, then... Mm. Yes, I have already surpassed my father. I don't believe it. Well, I'm not sure I did the right thing. My father also had the desire to become the strongest human alive. But I can't look back. I can only move forward and try to claim that title for myself. That is my destiny. Goodbye. Well, that's all for now. That was enjoyable. Goodbye. Without another word, Sakura left me standing there alone. Wait, hold on. I never did find out who could possibly be stronger than her. Did she avoid talking about it on purpose? Sakura's report card has been updated. Breathing technique. Woo! Babe scum? Oh, I have to save! Missed your perfect playthrough. Playthrough is no longer legit. Why? Why is my playthrough no longer perfect? What? There's still plenty of time left. I can't just sit around here. I should head out. Uh, first of all, yeah, let me save since I did all those things. Oh no, I have to leave my room first to be able to use the map. I'm just being about missing the dialogue option on first try. Oh yeah, whoops, I forgot that happened. No. Sakura, I was paying attention. I knew it was someone in your family. At the second floor. Wait, what? Oh, they all moved around. I always not in a pool anymore, I think. Aha! Oh wait, I'm already on the second floor here. Oh, I should have gone to the pool so I can see what it looks like. Oh well, I'm sure I'll go there eventually. Someone might die in the pool. The key is not the will to win. Everybody has that. It's the will to prepare to win what that's important. Yeah! That's a quote from the famous basketball coach, Bobby Knight. Okay. I was like, we have to work hard, you know? Hmm, should I talk to Hina for a while? Yeah. Okay. I was thinking of going to the pool for a quick dip. You should come with me. Heck yeah. Should have gone to the pool so I can see my bathing suits fixed. <laughs> I went for a swim with Hina. You know, go to the lids close. Would like to? Yes, I would love to give Hina a present. What would you like to give her? Um, potato chips. I don't have any more of that. Bird seed. Gold diamond. Hope's peak ring. Blueberry perfume. G sick. Roller slippers. Hornicko's pants. Fresh bindings. Oh, biker gang guy might like this. Tumbleweed. Cherry, <gasps> Cherry blossom bouquet. A woman of superior yeah. beauty. Ah, yes, the queen accepts this royal tribute. <laughs> Let's get in. Thanks, Makoto. Oh, she looks so cute. Look at her. She's so cute. I get the impression that she liked it. That's good. Is something wrong, Kina? I've reached my limit. Just a second. I'm stuck in here. Can't do any sports. Can't do anything. I'm sick of it. We just went to the pool. <laughs> I want to get out under the sun and do some laps. Run a marathon. I want to do some real sports. Nina, calm down, okay? What the heck? I can't do anything in here. If I can't move around, I'm going to die like a bunny rabbit. But I always heard rabbits die from loneliness. That's terrible. Whatever. I'm going to die if I can't get some proper physical activity. Don't you think that's a little extreme? What the heck? I'm kidding, don't you? But I seriously can't sit still, you know? We can go back to the pool. Why else would I have joined six sports teams at school? Six? That's right. Yeah, track, basketball, softball, volleyball, tennis, and the big one. You could do most of those sports in the gym. The big one? The big one? Oh, I think that was a name typo. She got to her main sport but ran out of juice. I think it's gotta be swimming. Main sport is swimming, right? 
Mm. Yeah, you got it. Ugh, I don't even care what stroke it is. Just get me in a pool under the blue sky. I guess she just wants to be under the sky. But isn't it hard to do that many sports, even for you? Well... If you can't move, I'll just shrivel up and die. And I need a challenge. More and more new stuff to try. A challenge? Because, I mean... What I really love about sports is winning, you know? It's having to fight and struggle and give it all you got to reach the top. Why the scary music? It's that excitement, that fear you might suffer a heartbreaking loss. But... When you finally reach that goal, it's just lonely. It's lonely at the top, you know? I never really got into sports, so I couldn't really relate to what she was talking about. But I could tell that the reason Hina was so amazing was how hard she could fight and struggle. Um... So that's why I want to push myself as hard as possible when it comes to swimming. I want to aim for the highest, very highest mountaintop. The highest mountaintop? Okay. I'm talking about the gold medal, of course. Aim for the gold, even if it means I'm a super golden spaz. Did she just call herself? Okay, but if that's what you want, isn't that all the more reason? If you have a goal, why are you standing around making excuses? Huh? Excuses? Just a second. Hey, what did I ever make any excuses? Sure, maybe we're stuck in here right now with no way out. But if you really want to make an effort, shouldn't you try to see what you can do in here? Oh. That's a challenge! He just made an official challenge! Yeah, totally. But I think you're right. If I want to get that gold medal, I have to make every effort I can. I want to become a genius of effort. I bet Ian Thorpe said something like that. Okay. Yeah, I can't go around making excuses just because we're stuck in here. Alright, I think I'm going to do some push-ups in my room. Like maybe around a thousand or something. Almost before she was done talking, Hina took off like a bat out of hell. She recovered exactly as fast and strong as I would have expected. Hina's report card has been updated. Skill points has increased. Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Oh no, it's Ding Dong Bing Bong. Dong Ding Dong. <clears throat> it's 10 p.m. Okay, so, so everywhere else is open, but the dining hall is closed at night. Why is that? Another day gone. But even though the day is over, this game definitely isn't. How long is this going to keep going? Until everyone's dead, dude. All the stress and anxiety kept me from falling asleep until late in the night. What's the point of these Monokuma theaters? Whenever I spot a cute girl, I have a tendency to stare. I just can't help it, I just gaze with intensity. The other day, I rode my bike to the train station. I was in the bathroom, just looking at myself in the mirror. What? Was that supposed to be like a haiku or something? What is happening? Good morning! Good morning, everyone! Get ready to greet- Beautiful day! Better head to the dining hall. Head to the dining hall. Can't just teleport to the dining hall. Gotta make my way down to the dining hall. I went to the breakfast meeting, same as always, but... Is this everyone? It feels a little small. Yakuya and Toko had stormed off yesterday, and it wasn't too surprising they hadn't come today. Even the table looks bigger somehow. Oh, he looks so sad. I assume that is because three people are dead and two are abstaining. Yeah, with five people missing, I guess it would feel kind of empty. Hmm. Still, I know Byakuya's whatever, but shouldn't we go check on Toko? For serious? I vote no. She's super annoying. <laughs> <laughs> How can you be so cold? You are like a piece of rock candy. You hear me? What? No, rock candy isn't cold. It's sweet. Duh, shit. Anyway, Byaki is the real problem. We don't keep an eye on him. He might really kill someone. You can see it in his eyes. Huh? We got no choice. Get some rope. We're gonna have to keep him bound and gagged. I think that's going a little overboard. Count on it. He's right. In this situation, there's nothing scarier than when an ally turns loose cannon. It's just like when we were kids and someone would go crazy at sports day or whatever. What? What the ever are you talking about? You gonna use the rope to do tug of war or something? Idiot. It can't be. I'm not an idiot. Yo! You're an idiot. D Who are you calling you? stupid? Huh? What's wrong, Chihiro? You don't look so great. Oh, I'm just going through a little self-loathing. Huh? Self-loathing? Well, after what Byakuya said to me yesterday, 
I just got so nervous, I locked up. I couldn't say anything. Rondo even have ended up having to help me out. And even he said I was someone who can't fight back. Aww. I I hate how weak I am. Ah, oh, I see. So Mondo made you depressed. What? What? How's it my fault? What? Hey, come on. I wasn't trying to be mean. Besides, girls are just naturally weak anyway, right? <laughs> it's okay, Chihiro. Are you crying? Because you were screaming like a lunatic. <laughs> oh, no. Don't hey, cry. Come on. Don't cry. It, it's my fault, okay? I won't yell at you anymore. Mm. Really? Not sure I can believe that. What is that face? Oh my gosh, I always making so many cute faces. Huh? Just shut up. What? I got it. I'll make you a promise what? as a man. Huh? Promise as a man? Yeah, that's right. Maybe I mentioned this before, but ever since I was a kid, there was one thing my brother told me over and over again. He said that no matter what, a real man always keeps his promises. That's what he left me. Um, left you. Oh yeah, my brother's dead. Oh, I see. That's true. Anyway, I don't want to talk about it. Don't want to make all you guys cry. Yo. Anyway, so you can trust me when I make that promise. So you don't gotta cry anymore. Okay. Thank you, Mondo. Uh, uh. Sure. But I still don't like how I am right now. I have to get stronger. If I'm so weak, anything can make me cry. That's not good. Still, don't stress out too much about having to get stronger. Um. No, I want to get stronger. Maybe I should start working out. In that case, I would be happy to help you out anytime. But then Miss Fujisaki would get smashed into a billion pieces! Just a second! Shut up, you! <laughs> you know? Oh, finally cracked a smile, huh? I see. Yeah. Thank you. Everyone, thank you. Looks like Shihiro's gotten some life back. Yeah, man, if we keep helping each other like this, we're bound to get out of this crappy place sooner or later. I mean, someday, I'm sure. How do we have food, though? Like, if all the exits are sealed, who's bringing food every day? Still, our biggest concern right now <clears throat> is the other two who never showed up to breakfast. What can I do to try and understand those two better? Be a mean douchebag psychopath. Okay, so what should I do today? Would it be overkill to continuously just go see Aoi and Sakura? Uh... Let's see. And that's Toko, no. Down there. Those three are there. Yaku is probably in there. Toko. Sakura. You know what? This time I want to go into the pool. But will I see her? Oh yeah, I should- Whoa, okay. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> now this is an interesting poster. Obviously someone put this in the school, but is it really okay to have something like this here? <laughs> Let's see, monitor? Uh, workout bench? Lockers? Plants? Door? Ah. Give me a coin! Um, I'm afraid of talking to people because I feel like that means we're gonna have to hang out. So I'm just gonna go to the pool. Sorry, Yasuhiro. Fuck, <laughs> they need some toes. <laughs> it's motivation, gotta get motivated to look that sexy. Uh. Wait, but. But they shouldn't they have like buff boy posters then? Lockers. Well, I would expect to see that at any normal pool. Aha! 16 coins. Nothing else to take. Zaba. Yeah. Nice pool. Teachers? Oh, lifeguard vest? What? Okay, there has to be something that happens around here because then why else would I be able to zoom in this far? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Okay. If it is hard, you have to endure, endure, endure. 
Well... That's a quote from the famous marathon runner Samuel Wanjiru. Hmm. Every person's endurance has a limit. Did I talk to Hida for a while? Yes. Yeah. I think we need a change of pace. And when I think change of pace... You got it! I can only think 50 laps in the pool! I changed my pace with Hina in the pool. <laughs> Hina and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Hina a present? Yes! What would you like to give her? Let's see... What else do I have? A man's fantasy. No. The spare bat? No. A uh, chin drill. Meteorite arrowhead? No. Ancient tour tickets? Water flute? I don't have that anymore. Maiden's handbag? Handbag? Available only at the posh Maiden Road, which is geared toward female fanfic fans. Please, please take me with you next time you- Okay. You know what? It's a cute bag, so I'll give it. <laughs> Thanks, I'm super stoked! Hey, she liked it. Aww. Hey, Makoto. I'm so tired. Yeah, you look pretty tired. What happened? We just swam 50 laps in the pool. Well... I woke up earlier than normal this morning, so I decided to do a push-up set-up squat set. I ended up doing a thousand of each. Well, that would explain it. Aww. Tired. So tired. I want something sweet. I want those things you get when you mix flour, sugar, butter, and eggs, then deep fry them. So what Hina's looking for is... Our butter... Churros? Are you talking about churros? <laughs> no, she's not! Churros are good too! Crunchy on the outside, chewy on the inside, it's almost the same as what I'm craving! Yeah. I guess you could probably put them in the same category, huh? So something similar to churros. She's looking for donuts! Oh, I know. You want some donuts, don't you? Um... Don't tell anyone, but there's actually a bunch of frozen donuts in the warehouse. Okay... Donuts in the microwave for a few seconds and just imagine. Imagine the warm chewiness of that donut. You know what I'm saying, right? You need the crap out of that, right? You really do love donuts, huh? Just a second! Is there anyone who doesn't? Who on earth, no, who in the whole universe can say they hate donuts? Um... Think about the sensation of biting into a donut. First the sweetness floods your mouth, then the soft dough cushions you. <sighs> Next you get the hint of egg and butter, right? I don't taste egg and donuts, but sure. Your whole body starts to melt. You feel like you're falling into the center of the donut itself. When people talk about the donut effect, that's what they're talking about. That's absolutely not true. <gasps> I can't take it anymore! I'm truly like Niagara Falls over here! Just a second. Get out of my way, Makoto, or I got an uppercut with your name on it! <laughs> I'm not in the way! <laughs> Wait for me, god of donuts! Almost before she was done talking, Hina took off like a bat out of hell. Whenever I'm around her, I feel like I'm soaking in the essence of human vitality. That's what she said? Hina's report card has been updated. Skill points has increased. After I watched her run off, I went back to my room. You work out every morning, don't you? I work- I'm trying to work out on Friday, Saturday, Sunday morning. Monday mornings, so the weekend mornings. Because I was like, wait, I don't do anything on the weekend, so I, if I'm tired, I could just take a nap. If I work out in the mornings dirt when I go to work, I'll be tired and I can't take a nap and I'm miserable. Churros. I don't know. Churros is yummy. I do not believe it. I'll go explore. Um, should I try talking to someone new? Oh man, but I want to keep leveling up with, um,. With Sakura and, uh... Sakura and... Uh... No, actually! I kind of want to hang out with, um... Chihiro. Um, wait, but I don't think I have any gifts that she'll like, so let me go to the school store. Oh wait, I need first floor. I'll use up the rest of my uh, coins on single coin stuff. Chihiro, 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 Chihiro. What? Is that a pen or what? A weird radio thing! Chihiro would like that. <gasps> oh, an antique radio! Well, just because she's a programmer doesn't mean she would like electronics. Ooh, I'm getting all new things. I love them. Nope! Repeat.
Ooh, cassette tape? Oh, Sayaka might have liked that if it had music on it. Was she dead? Toko might like Toko? Yeah. Might like that. Oh boy! Oh, that's a Kokeshi! I thought that was a weird skull thing. <gasps> cat dog! I want that cat dog thing. <gasps> Another bag! Yay! I can give it to uh, Aoi again. That thing again. Skull again. Gosh darn it, getting a lot of repeats. Oh my word! Uh, who would appreciate- I know who would appreciate that. Mr. Dojin Man. Oh boy. But I will never hang out with him! A knife! Oh wait, a sword. What's- what's Sakura like that? Boxing gloves! Sakura! Give me gifts for all my girls. Uh, yeah, that's for Doja Man. Successful haul. Woohoo! Okay, uh, now I go back to the second. Uh, but not that second. My name is Fragile, but not that, Fragile. I finally watched Doom Part 2. Uh, was it this week or last week? Oh, this past Sunday. I watched it in IMAX. The freaking sound was so loud. Oh no, it's dead, girl! It's a bunch of magazines. One's called The Lovely Ladies of Earth. It's filled with what they refer to as world-class beauties. We're not gonna mention the dead girl on the curve. Okay. Um, but yeah, the sound was so loud it was shaking my seat. It was crazy. I can examine the swimsuit! That swimsuit is still hanging out to dry. Surprised Hifumi hasn't come by and stolen it or something. <sighs> but yeah, I really like Dune. Like, when people say they like sci-fi, like, that's the kind of sci-fi I like. It was just so long. Really had to go to the bathroom. Alright, let's hang out, Chito! Um, what's wrong? Did you need something? Did I hang out with Chihiro for a while? <laughs> Wanna sit down and talk for a while? I spent some time talking with Chihiro. Chihiro and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Chihiro a present? Yes! I would like to give her the... Radio. Oh. Radio. Max close. Sick. Ooh, what if I give her you a G- No, I want to give you the... Emperor's thong, like... Designed solely for those in control of their buttocks. For better or worse, it's unisex. Oh, this is a do doll, not a radio. Figuring out the popular TV pension of the Lost Forbidden Love Fantasy Outer Space. Okay. The Masa, Ray Gun, Zurion. High tech future technology. Single shot can melt every molecule of a fully grown human. There aren't any batteries, though, so you can't fire it. Old timey radio. Self-destructing cassette, whoa. Ready with retro exterior but state-of-the-art technology inside. Of course, there's no reception in school, so you can't hear anything else. Give! Huh? I can have this? <laughs> Thank you. This has made me feel a little, little better. Does this mean she liked it? Mm, no. No! What's wrong, Chihiro? Um... Oh, it hurts. Hurt? Wait, did you get hurt, Chihiro? You know? Oh, well, not really. I got bit by a mosquito last night. A mosquito? Oh, I figured something serious had happened since you were saying how it hurt. Huh? Oh, did I give you the wrong impression? Sorry. You don't have to apologize, it was my own fault. You said it hurts? Did it really bite you that hard? Um... Yeah, see? Look. Beyond her arm, the huge red bump stood out clearly against her pale skin. Holy cow! What should I do? It's way past itchy now. It really hurts. But why is it so big? Did it bite you while you were sleeping or something? You're wrong. Oh no, I was awake. But you didn't notice? Mm, no, I noticed, but... But what? You know? Well, I felt it bite me, and I looked down at it. 
but I didn't do anything. I just sat there and watched it suck my blood. Okay, uh, I don't think I want to hang out with her again. <laughs> She's too, um, passive? Negative? You just watched. Why didn't you smack it? Huh? Because that would have killed it, right? Well, yeah, but... You know? I must have been really hungry to suck that much blood. If I was that hungry, it would have been really sad not to let it have anything. But it's just a mosquito. Um... Mosquitoes are living things too, though. It might have its own mosquito family. Burn them all. Sorry, I know that's dumb. No, really, you don't have to apologize. But don't go scratching it, okay? That'll just make things worse. But... But what if it gets so itchy I can't take it? Well, in that case, just take the tip of your fingernail and push it into the bump. That'll help. It does not help. Huh? Put some ice on it. Wow, I had no idea. <laughs> so smart, Makoto. As she said that, she smiled like a tiny, cute little animal. I wonder if she does that on purpose. If so, that's a whole other level of scary. Mm. But anyway, don't you think it's kind of strange? Huh? What is? You know? Well, the school's completely sealed off, right? So how do mosquito get in? Maybe there's somewhere here in the school where bugs can live and grow. Some sort of nature-y spot. A nature place in the school? Well, I can't say for sure that there's not. Uh, or, 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 maybe there's a secret passage somewhere that leads out of the school. A secret passage? Well, even if there's not, I'm sure we'll get out of here somehow. As long as we all work together, I'm sure we'll be out of here in no time. <laughs> You're right. Working together is super important. But... Of course, I don't know how I can be useful. I'll probably just weigh you all down. That's not true. It makes me feel way better knowing you're here to help. Huh? It does? Really? Yep, so let's all do our best, okay? Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Makoto. I... Don't want to hang out with her again. Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. <sighs> guess I'm feeling a little hungry. I better get something to eat before it's nighttime. I should head to the dining hall then, I guess. Just automatically take me there then. Oh, it's nighttime. Ooh, I better go eat fast. What if. Okay. So that one present was for someone with superior butt. So what if I gave it to Aoi? I just wanted to get something to eat. And now I'm about to get roped into something like this? Actually, no. I guess I'm already roped in. Listen to me! Hey, Makoto, perfect timing! Huh, what's going on? Hey, damn it! I have a favor to ask. A favor? I have a bad feeling about this. Hey, damn it! Come on, Makoto, you gotta be our witness! Witness to what? What? This guy's been talking about me since day one, calling me a coward and like that. You're corrupt! You are a coward! That's why you turn to violence to solve your problems! You! That's why you can't do what society asks of you, why you walk around dressed like that! Huh? If you say, you don't know us. You hear me? You've already lost to yourself, but you're such a coward you don't even realize it. So Damn what? You. you say you're not a coward? You think you're tougher than me? Count on it. I know I am. You wanna okay, fight. then let's throw down. Prove you got what I don't got. You hear me? I accept your challenge. What? So that's what's happening, Makoto. You gotta be our witness. You're not. You're gonna throw down? You're not gonna start punching each other, are you? Hey. There's a bathhouse on the first floor of the dorm, right? With a sauna inside? I see! I see! A simple endurance contest, is it? Got it! We're going to see who can stay in the sauna the longest, am I right? Piece of shit! Damn straight! Ooh, bathhouse! Ooh, I can't stay in the bath for a long time. Are you guys really gonna go through with this? Stop fucking around! Yeah! You! He'll be done in a matter of minutes anyway. People like him are, without exception, all talk. You wanna throw down? Bring it on! Hell, let's make things interesting. Wouldn't want to win without a challenge, right? Interesting. You son of a We're bitch. gonna battle with all our clothes on. Don't do that. You're gonna Ridiculous. pass out. That's idiotic. Suicidal. You wanna fight? What? You afraid? <clears throat> You're going to regret this. Stop fucking around. Shut up and let's do this. Hey, I thought no, no. this was gonna be happen without clothes, with our clothes on. But okay. Lord, asshole. You can take off your uniform, you know? Go ahead. I won't judge. And you can shut the fuck up and mind your own business. I mean, Why don't they just you. kiss? Yeah, just kiss. Your face is all red. What are you, one of those goddamn hot spring monkeys? It just so happens... Yotaka has really small pecs. Face. You don't have to act all big. Yeah, man. it's like, his is up to here. Oh my gosh, like, you have... What? Your abs are gigantic. 
correct, you say? <laughs> I'm still plenty good to go. I'm so good. I could eat a steaming hot bowl of soup right now. Are they okay? I tried to push my concern aside. A few minutes passed. And a few dozen minutes. Then an hour. I would pass think? out. It's about time. You gave up. What about you? You can't even hardly talk. Dumbass. Gosh, thank you for voicing these. Say whatever you want. I'm still totally good to go. In fact, I'm starting to feel a uh, kind of cold. That's probably not good. Hey, uh, guys, I know you both want to prove how big of the uh, you are, but don't you think you've done enough? Shut up! I <sighs> just can't win. Uh-oh! Oh wait, only the dining hall's closed off. No, I didn't get food! It's nighttime! Hmm, ahem. Have fuck you in the okay then. Hey, did you hear that? It's nighttime. How about we call it a tie? In a true competition, there's no such thing as a tie. You win, or you lose. That's... The only thing that matters. You know what? You guys can stay here until morning, then. I'm I'm gonna go. Listen to you, you son of a bitch. Then bring it on. Uh, oh. <laughs> push you right up to the gates of hell. Okay, I just read, I'll push you right up, and I was like, to the wall? <laughs> the gates of hell? That's not a good place to push someone. This isn't good, guys. Uh, oh. Yeah, you hear him? Better crawl back to your room. I'll let you know how it went in the morning. Then you can start spreading my my legend. Oh, I <laughs> Okay, I need to finish reading things. I thought that's something else. Come tomorrow morning. You'll fall down in front of me. Down on your knees. I'll show you where to do it. Okay. At this point, the the writers had to know what they were doing. <laughs> Come tomorrow morning. Yeah. Big talk from someone whose face is about to explode. His face or something else. Right back at ya. Okay, well, good night then. They can have their manly bonding session. I really hope those two don't overdo it. But I'm sure to the death. No, surely they wouldn't go that far. His head. The concerns stay with me as I slowly succumb to sleep. Witch head. No, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Ah, stop. <laughs> I'll stop. If fate does exist, does that mean your future is decided the moment you're born? If all your yesterdays pile up to create your tomorrow, is your future as final as your past? I just don't know. That's why I'm still alive, because I don't know. That's why I desperately cling to life. What? <laughs> Good morning! Good morning! Get ready! Beautiful day! Morning, huh? I hope Mondo and Taka survived. Worried about the two of them, I hurried to the dining hall more quickly than usual. When I entered... <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? What the... Yo! Hey, Makoto! Thank you so much for acting as our witness yesterday. Are they friends now? Oh, been like this all morning. They were all buddy buddy as soon as they walked in. Feels gross. What? Feels gross? Hell no. Feels great more like. Oh boy. Oh. Almost feels like sexual harassment somehow. <laughs> Forget her, bro. A girl like her just doesn't get our manly bond. You hear me? Friendship between men is stronger than blood. A woman could never understand. Ain't that right. What you just said? Bro, that was cool. I should get a tattoo of it. Without a doubt. No, bro, you mustn't. Your body is a temple given to you by your loving parents. So, um, who won the contest? Piece of shit! Who gives a... Got it! Yeah, don't ask stupid questions. What matter is that we both took part in it together. That's completely different from what you were saying last night. I see. Friendship between men seem very simplistic. Nothing like what I'm used to with girls. Yeah, for real. All throughout breakfast that morning, 
The room was dominated by Mondo and Taka's overpowering brotherhood. All in all, it was a pretty unfortunate experience. Ding dong. Ding bong. Who could that be? One of who had come to visit. I opened a door and someone forced their way in. Why? Coco, what's the matter? What's your problem? Why are you so surprised? Am I really that annoying? <laughs> well, I don't even know I'm annoying. I came here knowing that, so that makes it okay. No, you're not annoying. I just wondered what was going on. I have a favor to ask. I want you to go somewhere with me. Ed, where is it you want to go? Well... The library. Huh? Are you looking for a book or something? Why don't you just ask Byakuya? He spends all his time in the library anyway. Did I say something wrong? You're not a b -b blabbermouth, right? This has to be a secret. I honestly have no idea what you're talking about, but if you want me to be quiet, I'll be quiet. And let's go to the library! Okay, I got it. The library. Jeez, why so pushy? <laughs> Nearly got her boy-on-boy -boy action in that scene. Toko! Toko's weird so far. You're not annoying. God, you're so annoying. <laughs> quiet! Be quiet when you go in! Don't let him see you! She actually was starting to get annoying, but I did what she said and gently crept, gently crept into the library. Again, how do you read with two fingers holding a book? Whatever. Unsurprisingly, Byakuya was there by himself, absorbed in a book. He's here. <laughs> He's really here. Okay, Makoto, go talk to him. What? Stop being so loud. Just hurry up and go talk to him. You Does she have a crush on him? You want to so bad. I can't. I don't want to interrupt him. That's kind of crazy. Fine. What's up, dude? He seems to be really focused on that book. It doesn't seem like the best time to talk to him. Hey, you. What are you doing back here? I hate even having to look at you. Ah, so you noticed me, huh? Naturally. Of course. Now hurry up and leave. Hm. And take her with you. Hey, um, Yaklia? Remember how you said, don't be a woman who dominates weak men? Be a woman dominated by a strong man? What? I never said that. Well, actually, I just thought it sounded like something you might say. Get out. <laughs> and go take a bath, you smell. Don't make me repeat myself. Don't make me say it again. Go now, before your stench latches onto the entire room. Okay. Good talk. He really dug into us there. Maybe he's in a bad mood. He seems super depressed. Did he really upset her that much? He's gonna die. He's gonna be- Everyone knows he stays in the library alone all day and someone's gonna sneak in there and all. He was worried about, like, his food being poisoned with us all together? No. If he keeps staying by himself in the library all day, that's an easy target. You stupid. He's so stupid. Yakuya, to go that far. <laughs> He must really be concerned about me. Ah! He told me to take a bath and everything. He must really care about my well-being. Hey, Makoto. What did you think? Think about what? Do you think Byakuya and I would be good together? Um, well, now I don't really know. Maybe. That's true. There's really no way to know. But the distance between us doesn't change our love! Oh, okay, she's the Lulu. Because as soon as you realize your feelings, the love is born. That's how love works! Okay. <sighs> there might come a day when you understand. Maybe. Someday. Well, bye. <laughs> ah, young love. Wah! Ba -bum, ba -bum. Who would have ever guessed she would go for someone like him? Shing! But eager passion can also be scary. Sometimes that leads people off in the wrong direction. <laughs> cool. All of a sudden I feel exhausted. Maybe I'll head back to my room for now. What if she kills him in a crime of passion? Oh, oh that might happen. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, so Byakuya is gonna die because Toku kills him, and Celeste is gonna kill someone. Maybe, maybe um, Hifumi because he made her tea wrong, and now she has her sights on him. Yes. There's still some time left in the day. What to do? That was she the VA one. Me too. Oh man. I know. I want to hear her voice one day, but it's so nice having like people's voice in English. Uh, where my girl at? Where my favorite girl at? There she is. She's in the lingerie with my other favorite girl. Do I have gifts for her? I think I do. Can you strafe? Thank you. Hey, oh girl. Okay. Each and every person has to do their job. The cooperation of each player is their true teamwork. You got it. That's a quote from the famous rugby player Yuji Matsuo. You gotta do the same thing. Cooperate so we can survive. Did I hang out with Hina for a while? Heck yeah. Yeah. You wanna go for a run to relieve some of the stress? Hina and I went for a light run through the school. Hina and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Hina a present? Yes. What would you like to give her? Um, I don't have any more coffee. Uh, she seems to like sweets, so I don't know if she'll like um. What? Okay, what is Tornico's pant? Latest style from Premier Gothic Lolita label Wonder Dungeon. Okay, so that's um what you look. Uh, underwear bandages. They were really both body and soul become taut. I could get that to Sakura. I'm gonna try giving this. Duawi. For those in control of their buttocks. Um. No, I don't want to. I'll I'll save before I give it to her. I don't have any more of that. Ray gun, golden gun, salt is a silent receiver, old tiny radio. Oh, crystal skull. Some skulls. What about the consider them OOP arts? Okay, so that's something that um other dude would like golden airplane. <sighs> okay, yeah. Prince Shotoku's globe. Okay, so this is all for um that guy. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Okay, so that's for Sakura. Millennium Prize problems. Mathematics. Um that seems like a Byakuya thing if he seems so so smart. Sure, game designed for the fun play, which allows you massive god handling out divine punishment to beauty mortals. Um yeah. Pokishi Dynamo. Flip the switch on the bottom to set the doll shaking. Apparently it's a kid's toy, but I don't really get the point of it. I don't think it's a... I don't think it's a kid's toy. I don't think that version is a kid's toy. Novelist found some pen ancient tour tickets. Cat Dog Magazine. Cat Dog Magazine! More so related to beds. It's a guide for junior high and high school students to help with their um physical health. I won't give that to her. Okay, I'll just give it a bag again. Where's the bag? In his handbag. <laughs> Yay! <sighs> so hungry. Please. Makoto, help me! I'm hungry! What am I supposed to do? <sighs> Need food. Anything. I don't care if it's a stack of paper. Need food. Why don't you just eat some more donuts? Just a second! I can't! That's my secret weapon for emergencies only. If I keep gorging on something with that many calories, I get fat in no time. But even she cares about that kind of thing. Well, she is an athlete. But... Besides, I don't want anything sugary. Right now, I want a salty snack. I can give her potato chips. Like potato chips? Mm. Like ramen. How's that a snack? You got it all huh? wrong. How's it not? Speaking of which, what's your favorite kind of ramen? Show you, without a doubt. Hey, yeah, show you ramen. You got it. Ah, good choice. Definitely the most refreshing option. What about you, Hina? You're worried about calories and also. Okay. I'm a protastic tonkotsu girl through and through. Or you don't care about calories at all. <laughs> the key element of any tonkotsu ramen is the butter and the extra fat. Do you okay with all that oil? Oh. Ugh, talking about it just made me even hungrier. Maybe it's time. Maybe I can make it. The dining hall. Are you sure though? I mean, a bowl of ramen has way more calories than a donut. What is Who this? says stuff like that? Are you a real man or aren't you? What? Are you afraid? Afraid of ramen? You're pathetic, Makoto. I'm ashamed to know you. Are you still Hina? Just a second. Shut up! Get out of my way! I'm gonna show you what a real man looks like. Or are you gonna stand in my way and suffer the first fist-based consequences? 
No, I have no intention of getting in your way. Okay. Then don't. If I don't do this now, when am I ever gonna get another chance? Crying out like a starving raven, Hina ran off at a dangerous clip toward the kitchen. When it comes to food, Hina is terrifying. Skill! Extraordinary focus! Whee! Learned my lesson, made my way back to my room. Look at those cheeks. I know, I'm afraid of giving her the thong, but it says for people with superior control, their butt. Ahem. And if she's a swimmer. School announcement. Oh, School different! Announcement. Nighttime is quickly approaching, but before it arrives, all students, please gather in the gym immediately. Poor Emergency! Quay. Emergency! Gather in the gym? Why now, all of a sudden? I really don't like the sound of this. I have a terrible feeling. Did someone die? Can I teleport, or are you gonna make me walk? I can teleport! I should save! Your legs are tiny! I never realized- What was that? He's, he has, like, my kind of proportions. I have super long torso and short legs. Ew. Asking us to gather together all of a sudden like this. What could he possibly want? Well, indeed. What might await us this time? <laughs> he keeps things interesting, that's for certain. How is that funny? Can't you smile like a normal person once in a while? Like, how the housewife on a classic TV show smiles at the end of an episode? What the heck? There's something totally messed up with you if you can laugh at a time like this. <laughs> Which of us is actually messed up? Huh? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Nothing in particular. Just admiring, that's all. I don't want to kill anyone, but I also don't want to stay here living in blind denial day after day. <laughs> I was just admiring how you can live like that and still keep your sanity. Because you're weird. You're a what weirdo. Not in denial. <laughs> that reminds me. Remember how you kept talking about how the police or whoever would come to help us? How'd that turn out? Seems to me there's no sign whatsoever of possible rescue. Well... That's just... Huh? I wonder what actually happens. Certainly. It's strange, that's true. There's no way the police wouldn't know about it. We're right in the middle of a major urban area. What? The police suck. Hmm. On the contrary, the mastermind may be just that powerful to take control even of the police. Could it be? Oh, this might not be related, but <laughs> and don't say it. Hmm. Nope, gonna say it. It's not like some occult mystery. It's it's about last night. I was near the main hall, just staring off into space. When all of a sudden, I heard it. Huh? Heard what? Hmm. A sound that I don't really know what it was. <sighs> What kind of sound? Hmm. Well, like I said, I don't really know. But if I had to describe it, Could it, be... it was like a construction site, I guess. A construction site? For serious. I mean, I could just ma be making that up. I only just barely heard anything. <laughs> you definitely made it up. Must have just been the sound of the ocean and the heavy oars. Hey, what? What you talking about, Toko? Uh oh, it's a movie. What's gonna happen? Oh, it was probably Monokuma. Yep. Why did that have to be a movie? Okay. <sighs> He's arrived. <laughs> what Hito heard wasn't a sound of construction, but it could have been an explosion! Huh? Yeah. Or maybe a machine gun! Poo -hoo -hoo, that kind of... That can kind of sound like construction in a way. What are you talking about? What? Ah, uh, beyond this point, my mouth is zipped. My lips are sealed. I am fully puckered. It's a secret little secret. And? Fine, then let's move on to what you can tell us. Why did you call us all here? Say what? You don't beat around the old bush, do you? Ready for me to get to the points, huh? If you please. But before that, you mind if I vent a little? <laughs> I'm low on energy these days. My stitching's even losing all its shine and luster. I'm thinking it's probably because of this ho-hum, boring, old, everyday life. I'm looking for something with a little more stimulation. Something rife with danger and intrigue. Yep. Listen, can I just be frank? Today, the next Blackened hasn't shown up yet, and I'm getting bored! Hey, so, um... 
I've decided to come up with a new way to motivate you. Motivate? Is it another set of videos or something? Are you gonna show us some demented thing to try and drive us all to murder? Yeah. Drive you to murder? What a mean thing to say! Just awful! You hear me? I don't know what you've got planned, but we're not going to kill each other anymore. Got it. No matter what you do, I swear to god we won't. Hmm. That's very big talk. Do your very best to back it up, okay? Now then, with your permission, let me begin! So this time it's... <laughs> embarrassing memories and secrets! As long as you're alive, it's a given that there's things you don't want other people to know about you. So I did a little investigating on my own, and I took up some of your darkest secrets! And those embarrassing memories and secrets are all contained in the envelopes I have right here. I'm going to hand them out now, so take a second to take a peek. As Monokuma spoke, he tossed the envelopes at our feet. I quickly snatched the envelope with my name written on it. I nervously pulled out what was written inside, and my entire body suddenly went rigid. Makoto wet the bed until he was in fifth grade. <coughs> oh, my throat. What? Oh. How? How'd you find out about this? Everyone started talking at once. <laughs> you have 24 hours. If someone doesn't become blackened by then... All your deepest, darkest, most embarrassing as secrets will be exposed to the world! Maybe I'll roll by a crowded intersection in a van strapped with loudspeakers and spill the beans! Yeah! Yeah! Wouldn't that be so embarrassing? That's what you meant by motivate. <laughs> yep, you got it! They're all pretty unpleasant, trust me. None of you want me to reveal that stuff, right? Makoto's honestly isn't that bad. Who the heck cares? It's definitely something I'd rather people not know, but we'd never kill over something like that. What? What you say? Count on it. He's right. Your plan is doomed to fail. No one's gonna murder someone for this kind of thing. This is kind oh, of. Oh no! Is it because, for better or worse, your memory is still a way to connect to the outside world? I have stuff I wouldn't want anyone to know, no matter what. So I assumed you'd all be the same. Which is why I put so much effort into preparing this next motive. Whoa, what happened? I got an alert. I can't read it. Or I heard an alert. Sorry, I, I don't know what happened. That scared me. I'm not using my Streamlabs OBS anymore, so I don't know what the event was. But whatever it was, hello, thank you. Yay. <laughs> hmm. Man, you're saying you really won't kill each other over this stuff? That just... Sucks. Well, what can you do? Okay, in 24 hours, I'll expose all your secrets just to make myself feel a little better. Okay. So sad. So depressed. Fared not well. With an almost convincing look of depressed dejection on his face, Monokuma receded into the gym steps. <gasps> Monokuma's feeling despair! Yay! So Virtual hugs, um... thank you. I didn't know what to expect at first, but maybe we dodged a bullet on this one. Um... I mean, yeah, having those secrets revealed is gonna be totally embarrassing. But that's seriously not enough to give someone a reason to kill, right? Listen to me. Good news, everyone! I have a brilliant idea! You hear me? Why don't we all just confess the secrets in those envelopes right here and now? Without a doubt. If we do that, any and all motive for murder will vanish. That's pretty smart, right? Quiet down and listen. Okay, so my embarrassing thing is... <laughs> I don't want to hear your stupid story. What? Besides, I don't... I don't want to talk about it. I don't care what anyone says. I don't want to talk about mine. As for me... Neither do I. Not because it is unpleasant, but because it is impossible. Oh? Well, it's just human nature to want to hear it when you say it's impossible. Come on, it'll be good for you. <sighs> Absolutely not. Yeah, come she's on, definitely gonna kill on. him. It's okay, just a little bit. Come on, come on, come on. Honestly. As I said. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey. I said I don't want to talk about it, you human bag of lard. Say what? Yep. I agree with them. There's no need to discuss it. What do you think, Chihiro? Uh, um, I'm sorry. Sorry. I don't really want to talk about it right now. But, but I also don't want to leave things the way they are, so maybe I can talk about it later. After I try my best to become strong, then I could tell everyone. 
So, if um... you don't want to talk, you don't have to. I'm not super excited to talk about it either. That's true. If everyone's that much against it, even if my bro's the one that suggested it, gotta say no. <laughs> well, that's okay then. Either way, if it's just a few secrets, I'm sure nobody's about to kill anybody over it. I hope you're right. A secret so bad you'd kill someone to keep it. Nobody's got something like that. Right? Okay, I'll stop with all the secret talk, but... You hear me? Each of us has 24 hours to get ready. Having our secrets exposed isn't going to be fun, but it's not like we're gonna die because of it. So, you know, um, don't do anything hasty. The way you keep repeating it kind of makes me worry even more. Whoa, motorcycle. Oh, uh, okay, sorry. I know it's gonna be tough, but... Bing bong. <clears throat> this is a school at 10 p.m. Dining hall, bug bites. Hmm. Night time already, huh? Okay, let's call it a day. Of course. Good idea. We need to prepare for tomorrow. Hmm. I was left with an anxiety I just couldn't shake, but we left things as they were and left things as they lay. One by one, we headed back to our rooms. Why is my envelope still on the ground? Someone's gonna pick it up. Secrets or memories you don't want anyone to know about. A way to connect to the outside world. Honestly, all that crap Monokuma was spouting didn't have any effect on me. There's no way anyone would kill over stuff like that. At least, that's what I thought. But maybe I was just being optimistic. Which is probably why, without too much of a struggle. Jeez, I'm more tired than usual. Super tired today. I fell asleep. But what I didn't know is that, even then, a tragedy was taking place. <laughs> Hey, do you have a second? I want to confide in you. It's about the prevailing world attitude right now. The difference between passive and active. I mean... For example, it's the difference between like, Oops, I killed him! And yeah, that's right, I killed him! Amazingly, there are tons of people who don't understand the difference. Can you believe it? But there's a huge difference between oops and that's right. You know what I'm saying, right? Anyone could kill someone in the heat of the moment, but surprisingly few can do it with a calculated intent. To make that choice, then put it into action, it's way harder than just letting your emotions lead you. It's all about preparation. Resolve. But maybe you're wondering, what's the point I'm trying to make? Well, I'm not totally sure myself. Maybe you should try reading between the lines. I'm guessing someone killed someone. With intent. Morning. Good. Good morning. Good Ooh. morning! Where's the morning announcement? Wah! <laughs> nice reaction. I'm glad to see you didn't disappoint. What are you doing here? Yep. I wanted to spice things up. So instead of a school announcement, I decided to wake you up in person. What the hell for? <laughs> because it's fun. And as long as I'm here, I figured I'd let you hear it right from the bear's mouth. You're what? <laughs> Are you sure you should be acting this laid back? I mean, even though something happened to one of your buddy-buddy classmates? What? Say what? What, what? what? Your face is all blue, like someone on the verge of death. What happens? What are you talking about? <laughs> That's for me to know, and you to find out. Good luck! Something's happened to someone. Is it... was it? No, it can't be. There's no way someone would... But what if... No what ifs are pointless, especially now when... The dining hall. I need to get to the dining hall. Oh boy, oh boy. Ah, Makoto. Are you okay? Hey, did Monokuma talk to you too? Hiro, Hina, Sakura, and... Yakuya. You're the only ones here? Where's everyone else? Hmm. Either they're already off trying to verify what Monokuma said, hmm. or they've fallen victim to the something that Monokuma mentioned. The something? Perhaps. It can't be. Has it happened again? Murder? After hearing what Monokuma had to say, the worst possibility forced its way into my mind. It took everything I had to drive that thought away. Uh, oh. So if something really did happen, does that mean someone did it because of what happened yesterday? Huh? It can't be. That stuff was just a bunch of old memories. Hmm. Just old memories? Don't be so sure about that. Clearly someone felt it was more important than that. 
Huh? Huh? <laughs> to judge someone else's values based on your own outlook. Do you realize how dangerous that is? What the heck? What? Why didn't you say something yesterday? Naturally. Did you already forget? This isn't a co-op game. It's every man for himself. Then don't join us. Leave us alone. <laughs> what good does it do me to go out of my way to help you? Just the worst. Stop saying that already. Uh, um... There's something wrong with him for serious. Did he get brainwashed or something? Wait. That's not important. What matters right now is that we find out what happens. That's fine. She's right. Let's all split up and begin looking. Hmm. The game is afoot. You can go by yourself, you douche. Okay, so we got some missing peoples. I'm guessing they won't let me really teleport. She's in the trash. Oops. Um... Yakuya's obviously in the life. Okay. Um... Okay, so I don't think anything happened in the dorm floor. Probably some place where there isn't someone, but there's someone everywhere, Jim. In the gym. Nope. I don't like this scary music. Where could everyone be? Where could everyone be? How did I bring up the map? How did I bring up the map? Let's take a screenshot. Really? You're not gonna show me the map? How do I get the map overlay? Oh, actually I wanna save. Um... <laughs> Nurses, offices, door will close. No point going to the end. Or is nothing. AV room? Oh, maybe the bathhouse, because the bathhouse is new. Let's try that. Bath, 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 house. Bath house. Let's go to Hina, let's go to Hina. Let's go to... Nobody in the bathhouse. I can examine some stuff. Lockers. One of them is unlocked. I don't see anything inside. Give me a coin. Massage chair. This is once I get really tired. Got a coin. Bathhouse. Bathhouse. Nobody's in the bathhouse. There's a pillar in the bathtub. Bathtub is huge. Okay. Map. Um. Laundry? Laundry. It has to be all the new places that opened up. I don't think it's in the dining hall. And not in the laundry. Um... Maybe I should try going to the library. Brief. Library. Oh, maybe the door to the archive room opens? Yaki is just chilling, so I don't think it's here. Hmm. Nothing worthwhile over here. I already checked. Okay, bye. Um, where else opened the pool? Oh no, I don't want to go there. Ah. Pool. Gym entry. Pool. Huh? The door's open, but aren't there these supposed to be locked?
For this investigation, I have unlocked the doors. Please look around to your heart's content. Oh, so are dorm rooms open too? Investigation? It's all clear now. Just as I thought. Yakuya. I see. Judging from what he said, there can be no doubt a murder really has taken place. Come on. <laughs> and the locker rooms. They're suspicious. Very suspicious indeed. Wouldn't you agree? I thought you didn't- This wasn't the co-op game, man. Leave me alone. Huh? Sus suspicious? <laughs> it seems nobody searched the locker rooms. Gets Let's start with the girls' locker room. He was muttering as if talking only to himself. Without waiting for a reply, he pressed his head against the girls' locker room door. And the door swung open without a sound. Don't bring me with you. In that moment, time seemed to freeze. <gasps> oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh. 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 What? Um, ah, oh, shoot. Oh, I don't know how long it took for me to fully comprehend the reality of what I was looking at. But as soon as I did... A wild, almost primeval scream escaped from my mouth. Oh my gosh! Oh. Can't believe you didn't want to hang out with her! <laughs> No, I didn't mean it. No, it's because, okay, in the beginning, I didn't really care for her because I was like, Swimmer Girl and Sakura are my girls. But then Chihiro seemed, you know, nice and cute, so I was like, let's hang out with her. But she was not as cute as I thought. Oh no. I tried to suppress my screaming, but it was useless. It surged out of me like water from a spring gushing out of the ground. Byakuya, on the other hand. Oh Very boy! Strange. Most unusual, don't you think? He was totally calm, almost like he was watching this all unfold in front of a TV screen. Oh, stop! Oh, stop! Look, Chihiro's corpse is sus suspended somehow. How? Okay. Rope. Oh boy! And something's been written on the wall in blood. Bloodlust. Hmm. Such a brutal way to kill someone. No, this is beyond brutal. Wouldn't you agree? They killed her! How could it not be brutal? <laughs> no, that's not my point. This murder is far too bizarre for any everyday amateur to have committed it. Unlike with Sayaka, this murder was not a crime of passion or necessity. <laughs> it's almost as if whoever did this did it for fun. You see what I mean, don't you? What? My head was swimming, I was still reeling, too confused to understand what he was trying to say. And before I could even begin to clear my head... What the heck? Hey, I heard screaming! Did something- <laughs> Chihiro? Not looking at that side of the screen! <clears throat> a body has been discovered! You don't say! After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin! What the hell was that? What? Ah, that's right. You were unconscious during Sayaka, so you don't know about it. What you just heard was the body discovery announcement. Apparently, when three or more people discover a body, an announcement plays to let everyone know. I imagine it's so that the search for the culprit can proceed fairly for everyone involved. Proceed fairly? The body discovery announcement! Then Chihiro really is! Naturally. Dead, yes. Did it time to did it duel? Before you start screaming your head off, go round everyone up. It seems another game has begun. <laughs> another life or death game to uncover a killer. You manifested her- I did not! <laughs> Taka bolted out of the locker room. As everyone made their way to the scene, it felt as if no time had passed at all. It was like my sense of time had just taken wing and flown away. When I finally came back to myself, I saw everyone had the same look of confusion, fear, and anger. We all just stood there gathered around Chihiro's body. Damn. I couldn't keep her safe. So there's another victim. Which means we are now in the same position once again. F man. What the what the F is this? What? 
It's a dream. This is a dream. It's all just a dream. In fact, I haven't even been born yet. I don't have any memory of ever being alive. <sighs> Shut up. Why is this poster here? Hey. I thought it was in the boys' room. Wait, look at that. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Are these letters on the wall? I'm looking at the, the booby girl. Oh, if I don't look at that. The word bloodless is written on the wall in blood. So... I don't think it's any kind of dying message. It's just too strange. But you know, that thing about writing bloodlust in blood, doesn't it sound kind of familiar? <laughs> Murderous being who kills again and you're using a brutal and brutal method. Not to see any of these crimes to where bloodlust is written in the victim's own blood. They're like a ghost attacking suddenly, then slipping away before the police can catch up to them. And when they need to the internet, get to this mysterious serial killer. Genocide Jack! Genocide Jack? The murderous fiend whose grisly attacks were famous all across the country! The ultimate murderous fiend creating a reputation of abnormal, downright cruel killings! What is this? Then this is some copycat killer trying to imitate Genocide Jack's style? But why would anyone do that? Hmm. Perhaps it is the work of the real Genocide Jack. The real- Wait, are you saying Genocide Jack is here in the school? No way! There, there's no way! Hmm. But going so far as to write bloodlust at the scene, I am surprised at their stupidity. Well, I can't imagine a worse situation than dealing with a stupid murderer. Ah. <laughs> what is it now? Toko! Hina was pointing toward the entrance to the girls' locker room. Uh. <laughs> Toko was the last to arrive, and now she was just standing there. No! Why? 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 <laughs> Why? A dunk. <laughs> she fainted. That did not sound good. Oh. Toko! Hina rushed over to the collapsed Toko and started trying to shake her awake. Oh. Toko, are you okay? Come on, wake up! Oh. Oh, um. that's right. I just remember what she said about how she faints anytime she sees blood. Oh. So she is hemophobic. I imagine she does not watch too many horror films, then. Uh, um... Do I hate that voice? I'm sorry, but that is my flashback voice. <laughs> this isn't a violation of the rules, right? I mean, technically she passed out somewhere besides her room. Well, I think it should be okay. The regulations prohibit sleeping, like, on purpose. Hmm. Ah, so since she didn't faint on purpose, it doesn't count. Gotcha. You Just focus on the weirdest things. Toko, can you hear me? Hey, you gotta wake up! As if she'd heard her, Toko suddenly shot awake. As in, she literally jumped up from where she was laying. It was such a strange reaction, I was at a total loss for words. She leapt straight up into the air, changing her stance as she did. Whoa! In no time flat, she was just standing up. Ignoring the physical contortion she had to go through, her motions were to totally haphazard. Huh? What? Sorry <laughs> about that. I was just so shocked, you know? It happens, right? Was I the only one? Toko, are you okay? Mm -hmm. Fine, I'm fine! Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, is that a dead body? Hey, are you dead? <laughs> oh dear! What the heck? She must have hit her head real hard when she fainted. <laughs> the world has a front and a back, a top inning and a bottom, a sea of truth and a web of lies! This is quite concerning. I mean, she sounds completely different. No, no, no. Everything is fine. At least the stutter's all gone. <laughs> That's a good thing, right? <laughs> I see. It's clear to me that everything is not fine. Your eyes seem strangely vacant. Mm. It might be best if we take her back to her room for the time being. So, I don't um... mind taking her, but could someone help me? Mm -hmm. If you need help, I don't mind. Um... Paka, could you help me? <laughs> Oh, she totally ignored me! Mm. Very well, you can take care of the girl, and the rest of us can begin the investigation right away. And I assume nobody has a problem leaving Sakura and Mondo on guard duty again. Hold on a second, rushing to an investigation? Hmm. The mastermind isn't behind that. After what happened last time, surely you realize that. Mm. Don't make me repeat that. There's no question that Chihiro was murdered by someone among us. Hmm. Isn't that right, Monokuma? Of course! Right as rain! Don't take it as a bad thing, it's just a fact of life. Because... Yeah! That's how graduation works! Then it's happened again. Is that what you're saying? And another one of us... Another one of us killed. 
a fellow classmate. Hmm? What? Does that freak you out? You guys got no balls, you know that? <laughs> Is there just nothing down there at all? Well, I'll let you pray to mine if you want. <laughs> Actually, I don't have any either. Sorry. Stop talking. Stop monologuing and give us what you came here to give us. You did bring it, right? <laughs> I sure did, chum. It's the Monokuma file. I know how much you must be looking forward to it. See ya later. So please do your very tippy top best on this investigation. No way. Do we really gotta do another investigation? Why are we just ugh, examining the corpse of one of our friends? Having to suspect all our other friends? Why? I hate this. I can't take it anymore. Take Toko to her robe. Oh, I hate it no. too. Help me. I've had enough. I'm getting out of here. Hey. Where do you plan on going? There's nowhere to run. Such ignorance. Just accept it already. After all, blood is just liquid. A dead body is a simple object. <laughs> You are very enthusiastic about all of this, are you not? Naturally. How can I not be? You don't unmask the culprit, we all die. Okay, so he's totally in just to be like, hmm, 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 let me figure out who the, who the blackened is so that I can thwart their plans. And, you know, like, let them take the penalty because they couldn't escape my superior intellect. He's so annoying. Now picture Sawashiro doing these lines, Jelly. Oh man, that would be awesome. Oh, Miyuki Sawashiro, she's so great. That's true, but to jump into it so soon... What? Do you want to die? Such Fine, ignorance. then go off and die somewhere. Right now, go ahead. You're a waste of space. D a dead you? body is an object. Piece of shit! Chihiro was an object. Show a little respect or I'll beat some into you. Calm down. Everyone stop bickering. Listen, there's some truth in what Byakuya said. Kyoko! Because... If we don't solve the mystery and find the killer, our own lives are forfeit. And if Byakuya is right that Genocide Jack is somehow the one who kills Chihiro, That's right. then unless we do something, more victims could start piling up. What? Forget more victims if we bust us up, we're all dead meat! Hey! Hey! Hold on, hold on. If that's your right, you don't gotta worry any longer! In any one killing game, the guilty party may only kill a maximum of two people! <laughs> oh no, I feel like... Soon, another person's gonna die. Or in the next one, two people are gonna die. Oh dear. What? I don't remember any rule like that. Actually... I just came up with it. I mean, if one person went around and killed everyone, your lovely student life would be all over, right? A new rule has been added. So then... In that case, why not limit it to one person? Hey! Um... Well, in a good mystery, you don't want to miss out on at least the potential of a serial killer angle. One would totally murder that possibility. Punishment is waiting for you. Farewell for now. I'll catch you guys at the class trial. Hmm. I'd say I understand his thinking, but if we can kill up to two people, then one more person's life could still be in danger. Hmm. Which is definitely not good. We need to uncover the culprit before something else happens. You son of a bitch! You need to shut the f up. So, um... Well, for now, Taka and me are going to drop Toko off at her room. Guys, I'm gonna get dropped off. <laughs> there is nothing to be done. We have no time to stand around here. We must begin our investigation too sweet. Too sweet? Yeah. If we do not solve the mystery of who killed Chihiro, is that okay? Then we will quickly follow her into the afterlife. That's true. I hate this, but if I want to survive, me and everyone else, we have to do it. We don't have any other choice. <laughs> First of all, I better check the Monokuma file to see what's exactly what's going on. Victim was Chihiro Fujisaki. The time of death is estimated to be around 2 a.m. Body was discovered in the girl's locker room on the second floor of the school. The cause of death was a blow to the head with a blunt object. She was killed instantly. That's all it says. Well, it's not like there's any point in complaining about it. No matter what, I gotta do what I gotta do. Hmm. Hey, Makoto, do you have a second? No, I don't. Leave me alone. Did you need something from me? Naturally. Of course. Life without purpose is quite dull, you know. So what do you need? I'm going to let you cooperate with me during my investigation. This is not co-op. I'm not joining you. <laughs> huh? What? I'm purchasing your talent. The same talent which allowed you to solve Sayaka's case. Solve? No, I just... Stop talking. You seem to have some limited use, which is why I've chosen you. You have the honor of contributing to my investigation. See, okay. Yakuya is not smart. 
he just has money and so he's like cool you're working for me now so everything that you do is like my achievements oh boy i really don't like this guy he's so annoying so you're inviting me to come with you you're doing it in the most arrogant way possible though let's go now then shall we get started uh we need to get moving there's no time to be standing around I don't really know what just happened, but it looks like I'll be working with Byakuya on this one. No. no. Why do I keep going to the girl? The post has got some blood on it. It must have happened during the murder. There's fresh blood stain on the carpet. Must have been splattered with the blood during the murder. No. Because if it's splattered onto the poster, in just one spot. How is it on the ground in front of her? It said one blow, right? There's a dumbbell on the floor, and this is blood stain. There's a blood stain on the dumbbell. Hmm. Monokuma file said a blow to the head with a blunt object is what killed her. Does that mean this dumbbell was actually the murder weapon? That's right. I don't imagine it could have been anything else. The dumbbell killed her. So it could be only someone who's strong enough to lift that. So so it's Sakura. I don't want to look about it. Bloodlust. What's the meaning behind it? Bloodlust. Um. Else I can examine. Monitor. I don't want to examine the door yet. Uh, I guess I'll talk to you, everyone. Dude had a real complex about being weak. You heard you here to talk about it, right? All I need to, all I need to get stronger. Yeah, I do remember she said that more than once. Sure did, which I guess explains the trip down here. But did she really need to get stronger that badly? You already mentioned it, but she was a girl after all. Most girls aren't that strong. Yeah. I don't know, man. Haven't really thought about that stuff. The cause of Chihiro's complex. I can't help wondering it might be. What was his- wait, 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 what? Mondo's account? He didn't tell me anything. Chihiro had to- oh. She wanted to get stronger, some assumed to be. Due to her inferior complex about being weak, she admired strength more than anything else. Okay. Sakura. I use this locker room all the time. Now, it's become the site of Chihiro's death. But why was she killed in the locker room? Actually, if you think about it, she could have been killed somewhere else than carried here. She was very light, that is true. It wouldn't be hard for someone to carry her, but still, well, I still think she came here on her own, by choice. What makes you say that? Hmm. She'd been talking a lot lately about how she wanted to get stronger. They were saying she came here to exercise. But according to the Monokuma file, apparently she was killed around 2 in the morning. Would she really have been exercising that late? Perhaps. Hino and myself are usually in the locker room during the day, so she was probably avoiding it then. Avoiding it? Mm. Although we invited her to join us more than once, she never showed up. But I can only assume she was trying to avoid us. And instead she came to the exercise. She came to exercise in the middle of the night. However. Perhaps, but it's difficult for me to imagine she would have come alone. She did want to start exercising, but she specifically mentioned she couldn't do it by herself. She needed support from others. So you're saying she could have come here in the middle of the night to train in secret, but that she would also have someone come with- she would have to come with someone else. Hmm. It's a possibility, I think. Okay, so her truth bullet is probably she needed to come with someone else. Now I believe it's time for us to move on. Already? What? New clues won't magically appear by standing around here. We need to check every aspect of this case. That's true, but... Let's go. If you're satisfied, let's hurry up and proceed. You... I don't have to follow him. He's so pushy. I got caught up with the wrong person this time. Or they're just automatically making me leave. Cool. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Um... Then... Wait, was that the right account? When Hiro said he heard a construction noise... And Monokuma's like, it it was the it could have been like a Gatling gun. Was that here? This is our next location. This place is related to the investigation? Hmm. Figure it out for yourself. It's no fun if you don't, right? If you already know everything, then don't follow me. Oh my gosh, you're so freaking annoying. Maybe this gun was used to no impossible if that were true, Chihiro will be riddled with holes. But he heard a noise. That's not even a scene of crime, idiot. Shut up! I 
If I remember right, this card reader is meant to work with our handbooks, right? What? Do you have an issue with it? If so, you should take it up with Monokuma. He said that, then quickly and sharply clapped his hands together. Did you call for me? Has he been domesticated? That's right. It seems that Makoto has a question for you. You need something? Sure, what's up? Um, well, it's just about this card reader. Yep. Yes, the card readers have all been designed to interface with each of your e-handbooks. You can only enter the locker room corresponding to the gender listed in your individual handbook. <laughs> and it's impossible for two people in a row to go through while the door is unlocked, correct? If there were some sort of erotic terrorist on the prowl... The ceiling mountain Gatling gun would initiate a Swiss cheese slaughter. Hmm. And the school regulations prohibit anyone from leading someone else there, lending someone else their handbook, correct? Of course! Correctly correct! So then, that means only girls can go into the girls' locker room and only boys can go into the boys' locker room. In other words, Chihiro's body being found in the girls' locker room means... Hmm. Hey Makoto, I can see right through you. See right through me? Hmm. Allow me to tell you what you're thinking. Since Shihiro was found in the girls' locker room, the killer must have been able to get in there. So in other words, As such, the killer must be one of the girls. Did I get it right? Such ignorance. Good lord, you're simple. I'm going to strangle him. But am I wrong? You should pay closer attention to the regulations. The answer has been in front of you the entire time. Loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. Only the act of loaning a handbook is prohibited. Borrowing someone else's is perfectly fine. I would expect nothing less from the prodigal son of the noble Togami family. Prodigal? That means he got kicked out. Okay, whatever. So you managed to sniff out the loophole in the regulations. Hm. Knowing you, I would bet you created it on purpose, didn't you? To add a little more excitement to things. Yeah You're cheating me like a puny little appetizer instead of the main course that I am. Now then, since the dead can't actually talk, they're not people anymore. They're things. Yep. Get it? Got it? Good. Wait, hold on. You're saying that's a loophole, but in order to borrow something from someone, then that means someone would have to loan it. So, uh... Why are you? So sleepy. Just listening to you makes me want to pass out. Be more like Byaku and get your poop together. I'm or else I'll charge you with criminal negligence. No more questions. Figure out the rest on your own damn self. That's fine. I know you're unfortunately lacking in mental f faculty, so I'll fill you in myself. Let's head to the- I don't want to go to the main hall! The main hall? <laughs> That'll help you understand what's going on. I don't want to. I want to go to the boys' locker room! Oh, we came to the main hall. What are we looking for here? Does that mean I have to figure it out for myself? Then- <sighs> A hunk of metal blocking the entrance seems like some kind of machine. A surveillance camera enters what I can only assume is a gun attached to it. It's so chilling. A surveillance camera enters blah 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 blah. One of the monitors. I don't see any clues here. There's a mailbox here. There'll be something inside. It's an e-handbook! No wait, there's three of them. But what are they doing here? Hmm. So, you finally found them. I want to go to the boys' locker room. I do, because, like... I figured the locker rooms would, like... I don't know, the poster... But, like, it was the booby poster in front of boys' locker room. So I want to see if there's any, like, blood in the boys' locker room, too. I don't know. Did you know these were here, Byakuya? <laughs> I happened to find them by chance myself the other day. Seems there's a system in place where the handbooks of dead students get delivered to this mailbox. But then these three handbooks belong to... Junko, Leon, and Sayaka? Hmm. You can go ahead and confirm it yourself. Ooh, excuse me. I immediately turned on one of the handbooks and when I did... Sayaka! You're right, this is Sayaka's handbook! Now do you understand? This is the key to the loophole that I revealed earlier. Yeah, I feel like I'm starting to get it. They could have just taken any one of those handbooks to go into the locker room. Loaning your handbook, loaning a handbook, borrowing someone else is perfectly fine. I see. Yeah, now I understand. Need holy handbooks. Hmm. Hold on a second. What's wrong? Very strange. That's strange when the handbooks won't turn on. Is it broken? Who's is it? 
the other handbook it showed Junko's name when I started up. And the one that won't turn on must be Leon's, right? I see. It would make sense, yes. After all, he did get pummeled with dozens and dozens of baseballs. Pummel with baseballs! Don't show me this again! The memory of it came flooding back. That cruel punishment which led to Leon's death. The execution that the mastermind concocted. A cruel, heartless death. You're right. It wouldn't be surprising for the handbook to break during that kind of assault. Damn it! Hey, hey! Hey, 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 hey! Hey! What? Mm. That e-handbook is essential to student life here. Crucial, integral, instrumental, a super big deal. There's no way it would have break that easily. But it did. That's impossible. If I say it wouldn't break, it wouldn't freaking break. It can withstand up to 10 tons of pressure and it's waterproof up to 100 meters, okay? I don't care how many baseballs you hit with it, it wouldn't do crap. <laughs> oh, but uh, even my amazing handbook does have one single weak point. It does. I can't hear but you. it's a secret! I wouldn't want you to go breaking any more handbooks! What? Then Leon must have broken it somehow without realizing what its weakness was, right? Hmm. Hard to say! You know what I think? I think his handbook isn't actually broken! Well, what? But you might ask, how could that be? Leaving the question hanging in the air, Monokuma disappeared. What just happened? Monokuma said it's not broken, but it's an undeniable fact it's not turning on. That's fine. Well, I don't see any connection to the case, so it doesn't matter for now. You think so? Either way, something about it still bothers me. <laughs> okay then, this should be enough to get things rolling. Let's begin our investigation in earnest and track down the true culprit. Yeah, we need to figure out who killed Chihiro. Hmm. To be exact, not quite. Huh? Not quite. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Sakura's account. Dumbbell has blood. They have blood. Mondo's account. Someone wanted to go. She wanted to go to the gym with someone. Card reader. Male students for the boys. Girl students for the girls. Addition, lending someone your handbook is a violation of school regulations. Main hall e handbooks. Handbook of each student that has died is placed in the mailbox. And all broken handbook. One of the handbooks found in the main hall have been broken, which is apparently a rare occurrence. Junko and Sayaka's handbooks both seem, still seem to work. Good assume that the broken handbook is Leon's. However, Monokuma claims it's very unlikely that Leon's handbook would have been broken. There's no cracks on it or anything, so it wasn't... Hmm. Still more here waiting to... What do you mean there's more here waiting to be checked? Are you saying I have to talk to you? What did you mean by that, Byakuya? To be exact, not quite. Hmm. Certainly, I want to reveal Shihiro's killer, but more precisely, <laughs> I want to discover the true identity of Genocide Jack. Then you really think? Truly believe Genocide Jack is the one that killed Chihiro? Don't make me repeat Absolutely. Myself. I have no doubt that Genocide Jack is the culprit in this case. That murderous fiend is Genocide Jack, right? What? There's nobody else it could be. <laughs> murderous fiend who kills again and again using a bizarre and brutal method. They're like a ghost, attacking suddenly, then slipping away before the police can catch up to them. And what nickname did the internet give to this mysterious serial killer? Genocide Jack. Oh, Genocide Jack. They say he's killed thousands of people, but that's gotta be an urban legend. Still, could one of us be... really be a demented psychotic killer like that? <laughs> You're not wrong to wonder. But words mean little right now. I have something that will prove it, and I can show you. Then just... FINISH IT! Oh, never mind. Same. Oh, shoot! He said something different. <laughs> Don't uh, make me Genocide myself. Jack. And I have a basis to believe that. I assure you, Genocide Jack is one of us. Is there really proof? <laughs> There's somewhere I'd like to take you. This will provide all the evidence you need. It's all clear. Evidence that Genocide Jack is the one that killed Chihiro. Evidence? Does something like that really? Ah, hey, you two. Big trouble. We need your help. I don't have time to We're play busy. With you. Leave us alone. I but it's an emergency! Emergency! Mom, please, you gotta help me! I'll help you! Screw Byakuya! Please! This is a serious emergency! Please, please, you gotta help me! Let's calm down, okay, you know? I mean... But, but it's an emergency! An emergency? What happens? Well. Something's wrong with Toko. She's acting super strange. Well, I mean, she was acting pretty strange earlier, right? What should we do, Byakuya? Very Don't strange. ask him! He doesn't care! Since it's Toko, I must admit, I'm intrigued. 
I suppose we could take a second to see what's going on with her. Are you sure? Don't make me repeat myself. <laughs> Don't make me repeat myself. I didn't expect that. I thought for sure he'd just say no and that'd be the end of it. Yeah. Okay, okay, come on, hurry! Ah, her I thought she said hurry up, so I was like, eh. Wait for us, Hina. Let's go. It looks like she headed to the dorms, to Toko's room, most likely. You're right. Um. Oh, whoa, hello. Hello, Yami. Let me see this. Can I say something about Chihiro? Um, if it's spoilery, please don't, because um, this is my first time playing, so I don't want to be like super spoiled. Leon was the first character created for the game following the punk taste of the creator Kodaka, and also was the base for the male cast. Maizona was the same for female characters, and they were used for brainstorms and tests during game development to the point that when the beta was decided, developers were so sick of them, <laughs> they can't decide to get rid of them as soon as possible. <laughs> so that's why they're the first um, victim and, and blackens. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Oh, I need Byakuya's voice to end. It hurts. Is Toko inside? Some kind of emergency. Hey, let me in. You guys are too slow. I think you're just too fast. Hmm. So, what's this emergency? So, um... Well, after what happened in the girls' locker room, we left Toko in her room so she could lay down. After a while, we came back to check on her. You know, see how she was doing? But when we did, hmm. it was weird. She refused to come out, and she kept saying all this weird stuff. Weird stuff? That's fine. We should try talking to her ourselves. Yeah, good idea. No, not good idea. I may as well give it a shot. Door swung open, slowly and silently. Holy crap! An aura of negativity flowed out from behind the door, forcing a gasp out of me. What? Oh, uh, nothing. It's just that uh, Hina was really worried about you, holding yourself up in your room. Leave me alone. Um, yeah, sure thing. But could you open up just for a second? Won't allow it. Huh? I won't let Genocide Jack have control. Huh? Just like that, she slammed a door in my face. What was that? Hmm. She's been acting like that the whole time. When I rang a little while ago... I'll drive out the killer! Drive out the murderous fiend! Um... It doesn't make any sense, right? I was afraid to leave her in there alone, so I tried to bust down her door. But it felt like something was holding it shut on the other side. I couldn't even budge it. Toko was scared enough to even bar her door? Does she think the same thing as Byakuya? Does she think the serial killer, uh, Genocide Jack, really murdered Chihiro? Is that why Toko's so scared? But... Whatever it is, I'm really worried about her. Isn't there anyone who might be able to persuade her? Yo, dude, she has a crush on you. You talk to her. Um, also, my Zono story is there to teach the player that any character can die in any minute, not trust anyone. <laughs> also, characters don't notice the name... Leon upside down because even with the translation, canonically they still speaking Japanese because they are Japanese people. That makes more sense if they're not used to like the um, the English alphabet. They only see numbers. That's why for us it was like so easy to see. Uh huh. Thanks for the info. Hey Byakuya, you think you could ask her to come out of her room? I mean. That's fine. Sure. Whatever. You gonna talk to her, Byakuya? Wow, I guess you can be nice when you want to. He only cares about finding out who Genocide Jack is. Byakuya stood in front of her door, not making a sound, and pressed the doorbell. After a few moments... What do you want? Leave me alone. You're all so annoying. Ah. Bakula? It's Byakuya. Oh. I'm sorry. I couldn't keep our promise. But don't worry. Never again. I I won't let Genocide Jack have control ever again. And with that, the door slammed shut. Hmm. Even Byakuya 
Couldn't pull it off. Hmm. There's nothing else we can do. Let's get back to the investigation. Hold on. Hey, Byakuyo, what was Toko talking about just now? Something about a promise? What? Hmm? Oh, I have no idea. Another one of her delusions, I'm sure. But... Stop talking. If I say I don't know, that means I don't know. Just let Hina take care of her. I think you're hiding something. Hmm. Oh, yeah, okay. I'll stay here and keep an eye on her. Let's go. Well then, let's go. Without waiting for a reply, Byakuyo sped away. I don't have to follow him. Makoto, don't follow him. Byakuya. And I heard to catch up. You don't have to investigate on your own. I tried to talk him se to him several times as he walked, but he didn't even look back, let alone say anything. He just kept on walking toward his destination. Finally, his feet brought him to a stop in front of a certain room. The library? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, let's go in. Wait, but I want to examine the freaking boys' locker room! Um, this chapter name is Boy's Life in reference to the theme of this chapter is how toxic masculinity affect men in different ways. Mm. I'm assuming... Oh, did I examine this lamp? Give me a coin! Knock it off! What does a dust lamp matter right now? Because I want a coin! Fine. Um, is the evidence that proves it was Genocide Jack really in the library? Don't make me repeat myself. I'm not gonna repeat it. Oh, I have to look? No, there's no point checking there. We need to find real clues. You got your face. Fine. Archive? If I remember, on the other side of this door, it's the archive, right? <laughs> Hurry up and go inside. Oh, now nah, you're letting me go in? Oh, here. Let's go. It all makes sense when you're inside. Wow, more books. There's so many books and files. And so much dust, too. So in other words... I would say there's enough value in this place to endure the dust. Now can I examine the lamp? Huh? It's a desk lamp. Oh yeah, it's the same one I saw Byakuya using in the library before. What? You have a problem with that lamp? It was here before, then I moved it over there. It's too dark over there, so I thought I'd put it to good use. I don't care about that dialogue, I just want the Monokuma coins. There's a wooden box, it's empty. Although judging by the smudges in the dust, it looks like there was something inside. I wonder what it was. Hmm. There was an extension cord plugged in there. It proved very useful while it was in the library. An extension cord, huh? Oh, books. This shelf is stuffed tight with files. Without really thinking about it, I picked one at random. Ah, you have a sharp eye indeed to select that file. Huh? That's right. That's the report on a presidential assassination. The original is kept at the National Library. It won't be declassified for another 30 years. Are you sure you want to look at it now? <laughs> There's no telling whose crosshairs you might wind up for pe wind up in for peeking at it. Without making a sound, I returned the file to the shelf. How okay, so obviously he read it, so he has to know what's in there. Eh! Oh, that's his shadow. I was like, there's someone behind you! So many files, what that's are enough. the things? Those documents are dangerous. Dangerous? They detail all the people who control the world from behind the scenes. Dangerous truth for a commoner. You mean like members of the diet or something? <laughs> no, I mean the ones with real power. The secret council controlling everything from the shadows. Oh my gosh, he, he's a conspiracy guy. No, actually, yeah, that makes sense. Byaku is an idiot. If you're ready to be if you're ready to be disappeared for it, take a look. There are some very interesting people in there. You're just kidding, right? Hm. Am I? I'll just let it go for now. Just show me the file you want me to find, you freak! There's a ton of thick files stuffed onto the bookshelf. <laughs> if you're thinking of looking through any of them, let me give you a little warning. Those things are filled with graphic, disturbing photos from all kinds of crime scenes. It's the kind of thing any normal person wouldn't ever want to look at. Be careful. What do you mean? All those files there are investigation reports related to different cold cases. Those are internal documents for police eyes only. They're not the kind of thing you'd expect to leak. Oh? Hmm. So are you finally beginning to understand the true splendor of this library? The entire reason I was interested in the library is because of this room right here. Hmm. It's home to classified government documents, police records, things no ordinary person would ever see. Isn't it magnificent? I don't care! 
This can't be for real, right? Such That's your guy's problem. Anything that doesn't fit into your preconceived reality, you label it a lie. Well, it's not that, it's just, it's not like I totally refuse to believe it, but... I mean, there's just so much. How could anyone have put all this together? Hmm. I suppose it goes to show just how much power Hope's Peak truly wields. Or perhaps... <laughs> the Mastermind have, may have wanted to provide us with enough entertainment to keep us from getting bored. Um... It's no use. I can't keep up with all this. It's just too unreal. Hmm. What's wrong? Still can't believe it? What about you? How can you believe it so easily? Things like that are usually impossible. What? What do you mean, usually? Usual, normal, ordinary, simple. Those things don't exist anywhere in the real world. I'm sick of this guy. I'm sick of this guy. He's queuing on for real. Like, he wants to feel so important and like... Oh my gosh, reality, normal stuff. Blah, blah, blah. It's like, your only skill is being born into a rich family. Shut your face. If you don't understand what they actually represent, you don't understand the nature of anything. You don't pull your punches, do you? Hmm. Besides, what do you consider usual is based on your common sense, right? But what makes you think your own common sense applies to me at all? Hmm. So stop pushing your common sense onto me! Oh. I don't want to- I don't want to talk to him anymore. The documents gathered here are genuine. I've reviewed them multiple times, so there's no doubt. Oh no, or do I have to? Do I have to, so that... No, I feel like I have to listen to that dialogue or else we won't pay it. We won't move forward. Yeah, I have to. Mother flipping! Hold on a second, you're saying you've read all these documents and more than once? But all this has to be like top secret, confidential stuff, right? So why? Hmm. My family has a reading group just like this at our home. Ours is bigger, of course, and not as dusty. Uh, hmm. members of the Togami family have access to any variety of government-related documents. And includes foreign powers as well as domestic. How is that possible? So in other words- I already told you there's a secret council that controls the world from the shadows. <laughs> My family is a member of that council. I have within me the bloodline that will allow me to one day bend the world to my will. <laughs> what does this have to do with Shihiro's murder? But to become such a ruler, I must know all levels of this world backwards and forwards. Whenever I have time, I'd like to review whatever documents and materials that interest me. <laughs> Which is why I can proclaim without a doubt that the materials scattered here are the real thing. This is beyond believing or not believing. Byakuya is actually starting to scare me more than the actual mastermind. Hmm. And what always interested me the most were the cold case police investigation reports. Reading through those reports has always been a hobby of mine ever since I was little. It's excellent mental exercise. I've solved more than a few of those cases just by reviewing the reports. Yeah, yeah, tell yourself that. And among all those reports, one of my recent favorites is the Genocide Jack case. As he talked, Byakuya grabbed a specific file from the shelf. That's right. This is the complete case file. Every single report surrounding the Genocide Jack cases has been compiled in here. Hmm. Because there are so many, allow me to quickly summarize the main points. To begin, there are two notable characteristics in every, every Genocide Jack murder. The first characteristic is that at every crime scene, the word bloodlust is written in the victim's own blood. And the second hmm. is that when the victims are murdered, their bodies are suspended in a certain way. Bloodlust. Bloodlust written in blood, victim's body is suspended. It's exactly the same as what happened to Chihiro. <laughs> Save your surprise. The best part is yet to come. Hmm. Or the second characteristic where the victims are suspended. The only ones who knew about that particular fact were members of the police and other higher-ups. By all accounts, nobody in the media ever found out. Uh, hmm. In other words, no one on the news, no one online, nobody knew about that aspect of each crime. Only key officials and the killer himself knew about this act of mounting the victim. Ew. Hmm. Now, if you recall Chihiro's corpse, her body was most certainly mounted in this fashion. So, how could the killer have known about suspending the victim? That's right. That's the key question. But in fact, the answer is quite simple. So, in other the words, the culprit is the copy cat killer. It's the real genocide Jack. In other He's words, just obsessed with finding out who genocide Jack is, and just like, oh, I'm a fanboy. Let me meet the real genocide Jack. Ugh. That right there is the evidence that Genocide Jack has hidden himself among the rest of us. And Genocide Jack really is. Such a brutal fiendish killer really is walking around among us. <laughs> interesting. Things are really starting to get interesting, aren't they? No! Shut your face! I never imagined a killer with such reputation would ever become part of our little game. 
Now, don't you think it would be good for you to take a look at what I've already seen? No! You might just manage to ferret out a clue or two. Or you could just tell me! You get down on your knees and beg, I might even show you myself. Can I leave? <sighs> There's a ton of dick files, don't I? Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Do I have to talk to you? Oh. Yeah, Kuya, about that Genocide Jack case file. Can you let me see it? That's fine. Well, you didn't beg, but I guess it's okay this time. Feel free to look at it in here, but you can't take it with you. Yeah, Kuya handed me the file, and I flipped through it with tense, nervous fingers. Suddenly, my hand stopped. I had reached a page where photos from the scene of each crime had all been collected. Among Us. This is definitely Jelly's favorite investigation. I- Why- oh! Why do I have to be with Byakuya? He's so annoying. Oh my gosh, murder took place in the- Okay, but, um... Looks like Genocide Jack uses scissors and not weights. So this can't be Genocide Jack. It's Stupid. The names of Genesis. Ah, I can't read without looking at it. The name of Genocide Jack's victims ran on for several pages. Ten Harada, 32. Tetsuhiro Honda, 17. Shoki Gaku. Shoji Gaku, 23. Hanno Ise, 14. Takeshi Yoshida, 30. Komatsuna Taro, Takefumi Gono, Uchida Naohisa, Takeshi Basamune. Yuto Yumejima. There was no end of it. But one thing became perfectly clear as I read. All the killer's countless victims were killed and suspended in exactly the same way. And at the scene of every murder, the word bloodless was left in the victim's own blood. Hmm. Wee! Ooh. He's so annoying. I just want to kiss him with my fist. Damn, his beautiful eyes. Three! Three what? Now take a look at the next page and you'll find another interesting tidbit. The next page... I don't know. <laughs> Profiling results. All the crimes took place either on weekdays at night or during holidays either at day or night. The most common time for the killings to take place was on holidays in the afternoon. Based on these facts, it could be suggested that the suspect may be a student. I'm sorry, working adults can't take a holidays too? That's so stupid. I just saw scissors and this genocide person sound crazy. Yeah, they do. Ew. Evidence suggests that the suspect lingered at the scene, but when they did leave, they were in a panic. Because an eyewitness had never come forward, it's unlikely there was any external reason for this. This confused behavior suggests that the suspect may potentially suffer from disassociative dissociative identity disorder. So in other words, the key point here is that culprit may well have a split personality. A split personality, like the kind of thing you see on TV? I'm part of another totally unbelievable story. This one is way more unbelievable than anything else up, on, up till now. Or maybe it really isn't. I don't know, I feel like my mind has gone numb. My mind has gone numb. I... Do I have to investigate more? Yeah, I want to go to the boys' locker room! Let's go. <sighs> Where are we going? <laughs> Anywhere but here. We finished our business here, haven't we? Wait, Byakuya... As usual, Byakuya turned and left without another word. I hurried out of the library to catch up. Hmm. Well, this is where we part ways. I have some things I need to take care of before the class trial. Yes! Yes! Just just all of a sudden like that? I don't have to Come on, enough of your annoying misapprehensions. Did you really think we'd be together the whole time? Then why did you try me? It's basically, he just made me tag along with him to be like, I'm so smart. Look at all this info on Genocide Jack. <laughs> and it's just like, you could just bring up these points by yourself at the trial. We'll listen to you too. Oh my god. I'm sorry, I don't like this guy. He's annoying. Take responsibility for yourself and do something useful. Move the investigation forward on your own. Goodbye. And just like that, he was gone. As quickly as he asked me to join him, he cut me off. In the end, I felt like I was just some plaything getting tossed around. At the same time, I recovered some really important clues thanks to him. Genocide Jack, he's the one that killed Chihiro. 
I don't think so, because there were no scissors. And that murderous fiend is one of us. But who is it? I have to find that out, no matter what it takes. And to do that, there's somewhere I have to go and investigate one more time. I have to go back to the crime scene. The girls' locker room. I should check the boys' locker room, too. Thank you. And the others might have come up with some info I might find useful while I'm at it. I need to find everything I can. Mother flipping, that took such a freaking long time. My brain is tired. Shh. Damn him for being so handsome. He is not handsome. Ugh. Boys locker room card reader, but the door is unlocked now, so it's kind of pointless. I just want to see if there's anything else. Before the girls locker room, I'm gonna check the boys locker room. Oh, hey, what's this? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Huh, this poster. It's a popular boy band called Tornado. Somehow it doesn't quite sim seem to fit the boys locker room. Oh, what's this? Blood? There's a strange stain on the carpet. Wait, what is it? But if the blood stain is here, how would blung blood have been flung back on the poster? Because I'm, ass I'm assuming the posters got switched. Hmm. Trying to think, but nope. Let's check the girls. Ah! Bloodstain poster. The blood is the most noticeable part, but the big breasted swimsuit model is pretty noticeable too. The girls' locker room doesn't seem like the kind of place you'd find something like this. Oh, but wait, that reminds me, the poster in the other locker room is... That's right, there's definitely something strange about this. The boys' locker room, there's a poster of a popular boy band. The girls' locker room, there's a poster of a big, big breasted swimsuit model. Could the posters have been switched? But if they were, why? What reason would anyone have? Maybe I should talk to someone who knows a little more about the locker rooms. Sakura! Or Aoi! The Sakura's right here! You spend a lot of time exercising in the girls' locker room, right, Sakura? Of course. I use it nearly every day since it opened up. Sometimes Hina and I use it together. Okay, then let me ask you something. Do you think the posters in the boys' and girls' locker rooms could have been switched? I'm sorry. Sorry, I can't really say. I never really paid any attention to the posters. I see. However... But there is something that's been bothering me about the locker room. You see, I like to drink a little protein coffee every time I finish exercising. We have protein coffee? Mm. In the warehouse. It's not the highest quality, but I don't have a lot of other options. I mix protein powder with coffee and a down a glass of it after exercising. Anyway, the other day, I spilled some on the carpet in the girls' locker room and it left a stain. The stain in the boys' locker room wasn't blood, it was coffee. So... The carpet and the poster got switched. Why would it be switched? Girls' locker room has a booba poster and the boys' locker room have a boy band's poster. Ah, makes sense now. Thanks, <laughs> A stain? But I don't see any stain on the carpet now. Of course. Exactly. I noticed it earlier. The stain has disappeared. I can only assume someone came along and cleaned it up. But still, isn't it unusually clean? As if there was never a stain here to begin with. Disappearing stain. But I know the truth about the stain. Wait, do I have that in my, um... In my truth bullets? Disappearing stain, boys' locker room. Yes, I do. Ah! I could feel the life draining out of my own body. It's a dead body. Cheeto's dead body. Ah! Kyoko. Hey, Kyoko, have you made any progress on your investigation? Indeed. Generally speaking. However, when I have to get going, I have something unrelated to take care of. Something besides the investigation? What is it? Well, nothing you need to worry about. Just concentrate on the murder. But so then. Before I go, let me give you one piece of advice. You should examine Chihiro's body one more time thoroughly. Also, her handbook is missing. You might want to determine its whereabouts. Goodbye. That's it. I'll be praying for your success. With that, Kyoko turned and left the girls' locker room. I guess I'll take another look at the body then. And Chihiro's handbook is missing? That's definitely worth worrying about. 
I want pizza. Yoko said I should examine the body one more time. I know she said thoroughly, but do I have my limits? I do have my limits. Well, I better give it a shot anyway. Let's see. Chihiro's hands are bound with what looks like some kind of rope. Rope was used to prop her up in a kind of crucifix position. Huh? This rope has a plug. Wait, so then it isn't rope at all. But the more I think about it, the more it's not the only thing that concerns me. Chihiro's fatal injury was a blow to the head, which means someone struck her in the head in order to kill her. That's right. There's the issue of her being suspended and the fatal blow. At first, I didn't see any reason to think too much about either of them. But... Seeing them again after looking through the Genocide Jack file, something's not quite right. What does this all mean? Why a plug? Where would we get a super long plug one? Why was the poster and carpet change? One piece of advice? The one piece is real. Why would it be changed? Why would it be changed? I don't know. My... I don't know if my brain's getting tired. Why would it be changed? Well, the one thing most likely to tie all these mysteries together is the true nature of the rope that was used to sp suspend Shihiro. And to figure out that, there's a certain place I need to revisit and look over again. Plus, it might help to look at Genocide Jack case file one more time. I have to go back to the library? Let's talk to you, dude. Dude had a real complex about being weak. You heard you hear her talk about it, right? Oh, I need to get- oh, wait, this is earlier. Yeah, I do remember she said that more than once. Sure did. Oh, I got the bullet from you, so I guess... I don't- Yeah, I don't know. Ikido's complex, where did it come from? Where did it come from? Where did it go? Where did it come from, Kanaijo? Dude, I have to exp examine the pool? I don't think so. Let's go to the library. There's more left to discover? Fine, he for me. What did you find? Ifumi has discovered evidence revealing the identity of the culprit. I feel as if... Another stat increase for me! Evidence, what did you find? Mm -hmm. I cannot reveal that just yet. That's it. But I I'm guarantee sure that what I found will steal the killer's breath from his lungs. Are you sure about that? Mm. Oh yeah, Miss mm. Ludenberg mm. said she'd witness something mm. worthwhile too. Billy, what did she see? Well, She refused to tell me, see. like when a girl bullies the boy she likes, right? Right? Oh, so he likes her. Okay, so where is Celeste now? Hmm. The warehouse by the dorm. Hmm. She was there, but at the same time, not there. What's it gonna be? Also, I do not remember that her last name was Ludenberg. Yeah. Uh, oh, is this a warehouse? No, that's the archive. Wait, am I already here? The pool's on the second floor? Okay, then I might as well, um, go to the library? Ah! Great. <sighs> Maybe I- oh, man, I feel like I'm close to being done with investigating soon. But I'm getting real tired. Um, uh, extension cord box. The wooden box is empty. The extension cord was in there before. Why did I have to come back here? I want to take another look at Genocide Jack's case file. Hmm, I know it was around here somewhere. Oh, it's gone. Did someone take it out of the archive? But the only one who would do something like that. I can't think of anyone but Byakuya. Bye. Anything else I need to examine? Do I... Can I examine this lamp now? The lamp won't turn on. Oh, I see. It's not plugged in. The lamp cord isn't long enough to reach the outlet from here. The last time I saw it, it, it was definitely on and it was definitely right here. Oh, the extension cord is gone. That's right. Byake was using an extension cord. But there's no extension cord here now. I wonder if... Thick layer of dust on top of the desk. Yeah, it's it's been almost three hours. I am tired. But I feel like I'm almost done. Where is she at? Warehouse. Uh wait. Is the warehouse... Oh, no! 
Oh, the warehouse is in the dining room area, I think. No, warehouse is different. Oh, I have to ask, um... Aoi about the posters. Rest up? Oh, I will definitely rest up, um, after this. But I just want to finish the investigation. Oh, Hina, how's Toko doing? Hmm. Same as before, she won't come out, and she just keeps on mumbling something about Genocide Jack. <laughs> I just left her there. You left her? My head was all swimmy, and I was getting pretty hungry. Yeah! Oh, but don't worry, I'm gonna head back as soon as I'm done eating. Toko's not exactly pleasant, but I'm still worried about her. Speaking of which, what are you eating? Huh? A donut, of course! Of course. <sighs> There's two things I'm sure God created, outer space and donuts. Really? Hmm. I bet Shihiro would've liked to eat more donuts. Maybe that was her one big regret. Aww. Oh, I should've tried to spend more time with her. Come to think of it, who did she spend time with? Well... Yeah, she was a little bit strange. Didn't really hang out with the other girls much. It was like she was trying to keep her distance from us. Actually, Sakura said something similar. She said that even though you and Chihiro invite you and her invited Chihiro to exercise with you, she always refused. Yeah, totally. Yep, it's true. And it wasn't just us either. It was like she stayed away from all the girls. Was she just shy? Mm. I don't know. She talked to the boys all the time. Isn't it kind of weird to be shy around your own sex, but totally fine with the opposite sex? Not really. Ah. Oh wait, maybe. Maybe she was used to guys spoiling her. The law says you can't judge a book by its cover, right? <laughs> you think so? I never really saw her as that kind of girl. Sometimes, when you're a girl, being around other girls is scary, and so you go to guys. And then sometimes being around guys is scary. People are scary in general. <laughs> Turning sucks. Ugh. Let me see Toko. <laughs> She's in her room. She's not coming out. She spent time with JT, then never again. <laughs> People suck. Good thing Jelly Toast rocks. Oh, thank you for the kind words. I want Monokuma coins. Give me Monokuma coins. No, I I, I don't mean to press triangle. I mean... Bucks! Oh, that was the same shelf. Give me Monokuma coins! No? Okay, I'll talk to her. I think this Chihiro is a boy, just going by what the gate. What the same saying? What? What? Because she doesn't spend time with girls? Yeah. That doesn't make her a boy. Celeste, what are you doing here? <laughs> this warehouse is amazing. It has absolutely everything what I need to live a full life. From food to clothes to towels, there's an endless supply to choose from. I see that, but have you found anything related to the case? Most unfortunate. I knew you were going to ask me that. I thought talking about the warehouse itself might misdirect you, but I see it was pointless. We're in an investigation, what? And did you find something? <laughs> Very well, I will tell you, and only you. Actually, last night I saw her here. Chihiro was in the warehouse. What? Really? Indeed. This was right before night time. Hmm? What are you doing out this late? Oh, um, I was just... Are you planning to go exercise, perhaps? What? How did you know? You have a gym bag. Because I can see a blue track jacket sticking out of that duffel bag you're carrying. Oh, you're right. Thanks. Well, I'd better get going. I'm kind of in a hurry. <sighs> she stuffed the jacket into her bag in a hurry. It was almost like she was trying to hide it. And just like that, she was gone. Yes, I indeed. assumed she was merely stocking up to go exercise in the morning, but... It would appear she ignored the nighttime rule and headed directly to the girls' locker room. If she hadn't broken our rule, none of this would ever would have happened. <laughs> you get what you deserve, I suppose. So apparently, he went to the girls' locker room late at night in order to exercise without anyone knowing. But the strange thing is, there was no trace of the track jacket or duffel bag, so let's saw- Oh, there wasn't! Which would mean the killer would have gotten rid of it somehow. Who's on trash duty? Uh, from 
What girl said shy around girls but not around the um, poster um, switches and let us sign so Chihiro's a dude. I'm getting From what tired of waiting. girl said, Shall the swimmer girl right that Chihiro in? being all shy. What? It's the moment you've all been waiting <sighs> for. Class trial the time. class trial. You remember where to meet, right? Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. Looks like we are done. Yeah, I'm I'm tired too. I think we're all tired. <laughs> and we just need this to stop. It's about to begin. The red door is right through here. They're gonna let me save, right? But just in case, I'm gonna save again. Oh, uh, no, not map. Wait, how did it get the map overlay to show up? Oh. oh, I think I pressed circle and it showed up. Let me just finish with this scene. Ahem, so is everyone ready to- What? Hmm? Am I blind or are we missing someone? Yo. Yeah, Toko's not here. Huh? And Toko is... Really don't remember? Kidding! I'm just kidding. How could I forget that little nut job? She's a crucial part of the class trial this time. What are you gonna Okey do? Okie dokie. I'll go ahead and drag her out here, kicking and screaming. Just one moment, please. <laughs> Pain. <laughs> and just like he said, a few minutes later, he reappeared, dragging Toko behind him. Yeah. I told him I didn't want to, but he forced me. I can't believe you would drag a girl around! <laughs> terrible! You're terrible! So now everyone's here, right? Okay then, hustle onto the elevator and let's get this show on the road! <laughs> I'll see you guys down there! Let's go. Now we get going, it's time to find out who killed Chihiro. Chihiro! Chihiro Fujisaki! She was so gentle, so calm and meek, nobody had any problems with her. Stop it! Someone made the choice to kill a girl like that. And that murderer is one of us. Someone standing right here. Do I have to talk to everyone? Do I have to talk to everyone? <laughs> I've given plenty of work which shows how far your logic can take you. There is something odd about Toko's behavior. I do not think mere shock is enough to explain it. Ah! A bug! <laughs> I guess I wasn't much help at all on this one. Eh <laughs> I have to talk to everyone! Yeah! Cool! Hey, come on! What's got her so worked up? He looks so like everyone else is like, oh my gosh, a murderer. He's just like, eh, whatever. What what the heck? Oh, whatever. Oh, very sad. This Fujisaki, I must admit, for being 3D, she was quite remarkable. Of course, just the idea of 3D makes me cringe. Hmm. I don't know why the killer did what they did, but Count on it. sure it'll work itself out. Just as always prevails, right, bro? Well. I will uncover the villain who performs such heinous acts on a weaker individual. Hmm. Ready? You doing this? Good. No, not Sakura! I gotta get Kyoko! Kyoko! Shall we go? Yes! Oh. I didn't have to talk to everyone. I just had to talk to the elevator. I am a fool. Posture check, virtual hugs. And good night. Kirby, thanks for joining the whole time. Get to chatting. I mean, so does Yasuhiro. Yasuhiro. Yes, he does seem- but... Yeah, actually him and Yasuhiro, they haven't really been part of this investigation. And, like, a lot- no. Wait. Okay, I definitely don't think it was Yasuhiro. Because... It's true. Because... He really hasn't shown up a lot in day two. Not him. I gave a small nod in reply. One last deep breath, I walked toward the elevator on shaky legs. With each step forward, I could feel my heart starting to race faster and faster, as soon as everyone was on. 
The elevator began to descend. I couldn't get a handle on my emotions, couldn't stop speculating. The box sank with heavy clunking sounds deeper and deeper into the ground, and as we went deeper, the uneasiness in my heart grew bigger and bigger. The elevator was unaffected, however, and continued to descend without hesitation, until finally... It came to a sudden stop. <laughs> what do you think? I redecorated! Isn't it so fresh? Isn't it so exciting? I can't tell what changed. Hmm. Don't waste our time with stupid questions, let's get this over with. Very nice. Good, good, you're rip brain to go! Gotta say, I don't hate it! Not at all! Well... Okay then, let's get the show on the road! Thrills, chills, kills! Everyone, please find your assigned seats! And so the curtain opened once again. A deadly judgment, a deadly deception, a deadly betrayal. A deadly riddle, a deadly defense, a deadly faith, a deadly class trial. <sighs> I think that's just her standing poses. <laughs> Increases the focus beige by two, sure. Um, I got... Breathing technique. Focus gauge recovers more quickly. Melodious voice. Um, effective during the bullet time battle. Increases damage. Cool. Uh, can I save again? No, I can't. Okay. I have a theory. I have a theory. Because in the beginning of the day, um, Maid Girl and Hifumi... They had that whole, you're gonna listen to what I say, and he's like, yeah, sure. That maybe she told him to kill Chihiro. But then, but then Byakuya is so obsessed about Genocide Jack, and like, Chihiro was hung up by extension cord. And the only extension cord we saw was in the library. So Byakuya's involved somehow? Is- Oh wait, but then Celeste and Byakuya in the beginning were like, You're like me. We'll never lose. We're the winners. But then... Only one person gets to graduate. So even if they work together, it's not like they would both... Both get out. So- And it's the person who actually... Did the killing, right? That gets out? Am I... Am I speaking gibberish? Anyway, Celeste... Celeste, maid girl, and he for me are... Are sus. Yakuya sus. Toko... Something's gonna happen with Toko, but I don't think... I don't think she killed Chihiro. And why the heck... Are the posters in the girls and boys locker room switched? Why would they switch that? That's the part I don't understand. She was killed in the boys' locker room? So... <clears throat> Is that why Leon's handbook matters? But it's broken. So how would Chihiro use it? I don't know. I'm... They're, it's probably Makoto. They're all sus. Um, the only people who definitely aren't sus are Sakura, Aoi, uh, Yasuhiro, Kyoko, Makoto. I think those are the only people who. Taka, Mondo. Yeah. Those are the only people who aren't sus. How many people are left alive? That was seven. And Chihiro's dead. Celeste and, and he... Exactly. That's only 12. There are 13 left alive? No, we started off with 15 for... Yeah. Okay. Remember I said that prove me wrong game. <laughs> we shall see the next time. I'm so tired. I need to sleep. Thank you all so much for watching and sticking, sticking with me through this. I'm sorry, Kifumi's voice keeps changing. My throat hurts. I do his voice. Um, yeah, good night. Bye.